Come with me and you'll see a stream of pure imagination. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Fates United, Dice Antics Fates United. My name is Bardic Dice. I am your DM for the night, your host with the most, the bard with lard. I don't know. I got nothing. <laughs> I made myself laugh with that one. Thank you so much, Marky. Hey, how you doing? Um, we're gonna jump back into our game tonight. I am super sad though because we are down a player, unfortunately. But we do have a uh, cool man Kahu to keep us, you know, uh, keep us going and keep us motivated in tonight's, you know, really great adventure. So you know, little Keanu with the John. So it's great. Um, but anyways, uh, guys, I've been working hard this week on getting episodes uploaded to YouTube, so we are actually functioning as, uh, YouTube backup, uh, VODs, so they're up to, I think, like, episode 18, uh, so yeah, we're, we're getting there, we're getting there, um, but yeah, so, if you don't know, we upload all of our episodes on YouTube as well, so you can go watch that and catch up there, or if you're watching on YouTube or VOD, we stream every uh, week live at Thursday, 7.30 p.m. Right now, we have fun in the chat. We go crazy. Michael does really strange stuff for his intros. Like tonight, y'all gonna have to judge me for some dad jokes. So, as you know, we are in the volcano. I need my three judges tonight and chat as well to judge my dad jokes. This is serious, y'all. I need like on a scale of one to ten. A scale of one to volcano. And is volcano good or bad? Good, because it's volcano is good. Because it's gonna, yeah. it's it's burning the competition. I, yeah, I, it's not starting yet. <laughs> oh yeah, okay, yeah. All right, first up, Makai Dili. What did one volcano say to another volcano? I love you, girl. That ash. Because <laughs> it's ash, like the volcano ash. All right, so all right, all right, all right. What, what's 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 your I think score? Maykai's gonna die tonight. Okay, okay. So <laughs> nine. So. I like that one. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay, so we got a nine. What about the other two? <laughs> Sorry, I'm distracted by Kahu right now. That's got, all I'm like. We got twos and to. ones. I got a I got a, a non-judgment over here by Maykai and a two. Wow. Giving that a two. <laughs> Dang. Okay, that was rough. Okay, okay. We can recover. We can recover. Okay, second one. Uh, what did one volcano? Say to the other volcano, I lava you. He just said that, though. Yeah. yeah so. He did. Oh, one. But I, 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 <laughs> but I did have that typed down, so I'm just one. saying. It's, I couldn't think of another There's one. There's like a whole song about anyways, it. Anyways, anyways, whole... all right, that one didn't count. All right, fine, 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 fine. I got this. I got this. All right. So, did you guys know that Yellowstone Super Volcano is overdue for an eruption? Apparently, the volcano has eruptile dysfunction. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Come on, I got all three to, to laugh. Come on. <laughs> Anyways, you guys can realize I'm running out of intro ideas. Um, but if you want to give me ideas for different intros, please feel free to follow my socials and retweet some dad jokes or intro ideas to my Twitter. You can catch Instagram for some fun uh, artwork and things like that, and YouTube for past ones and all the ones in the chat. Thank you, thank you. I'm your bard for the night, and that's it. We're done. <laughs> that was the that was the that was the game. Um, we also have merch, guys. We have, uh, and you can see the example down below. Kahu's. Uh, anime Japanese style from Dili. Uh, her series of stickers is now live in the merch store. And also, we still have our uh, original art as well uh, for a discount. So if you guys want to get your stickers now, is the time to do it. But we also have shirts and mugs and, and fun stuff like that. So, yeah. And I'm really excited for the next series. I, I'm going to have some fun with this one. Um, so, yes, we'll get into that. Um, last but not least, um, we're going to shout out again, uh, Sips, a master general. Um, I always say Sips, Sip, master general, uh, for his, uh, Isle of Monsters, uh, module. It's like a, a three to four week game, um, that you get to sign up for as well. If you want to play in it in future editions, it's super fun. Uh, we all are in it, uh, from, uh, are on Mondays, um, and they are, at 7.30 p.m. 
What? 7.30, yeah. Right? Okay. I yeah. always forget uh, my timing's off. So yeah, so definitely go check that out. Go follow his channel if you haven't. Otherwise, I think that's it. 7.30 p.m. Central, so 8.30 Eastern if you're on our time. Um, so yeah, um, so that was great. Guys, sorry for... Sorry for ruining everything with my dad jokes. <laughs> that's okay. Like we'll push jokes. through. Uh, but yeah, we'll go ahead and uh, do like we always do with our character and player intros and see what is up and check in with our lovely first player that plays Mekai. Volcanoes are so rude. They just interrupt a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> I don't think I don't think it's better than mine. Come on, chat. How long did it take you to think of that in this? One second. Yep. <laughs> I was thinking of that, and I was like, I'll just wait until Mike says it. So I've been sitting on that. I know chat's Anyways, gonna, chat's gonna mutiny me and be like, Tens, it's great. <laughs> my my name is Dealey, and I play Meikai, and I do art, and coming, starting this Tuesday at 10 a.m. PST, I will be either live streaming art, or Skyrim, or eventually other games but um i'm just gonna kind of like test that out and i know that there's a lot of really cool content but i hope that i kind of found a good time slot <laughs> to not interrupt but um yeah come hang out with me uh this tuesday at 10 it's gonna be really fun i'll be really sleepy but my dog will probably be in the background chewing on something he's not supposed to so anyways yeah <laughs> And I, I keep on forgetting, your channel name is Raphazeel? Raphazeel! Yeah, Raphazeel. How do you spell that again? R-A-P-H-A-Z-E-E-L. -E -E -E, okay. It's a name I made up. I'll tell the story. <laughs> there you go. The link is in the stream. chat if you want to give her a quick follow uh, so you get notified uh, when she goes live. And even though it says I'm playing Skyrim, I'm not. I just don't know how to change that, so... It's just always Skyrim. We'll work with you on that. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. Off to us. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I think some of my first times were like, hey, Mike, I, I don't think you're playing Cyberpunk. That, don't worry about it. Just don't look at it. <laughs> always it Cyberpunk. Yep. Always. <laughs> All right. Next up. Hi, I'm Rachel. Mark keeps typing in jokes. And then I keep laughing, so I'm not laughing at any of you when you're talking. It's mostly Mark. Um, so I stream on Marky Gaming's channel. I stream art on Mondays at 3.30 CST. And I also post all my art and things on Twitter and Instagram at Pit400Art. So either go hang out with me on Instagram or Twitch, and it'll be fun. The end. I like it. Uh, up next is, uh, unfortunately, our player that is not here tonight, uh, John, who uh, is going to do as always and just point up this way and uh, support his wife, Dealey, who's going to be streaming Tuesday because she's really cool and he doesn't have socials. But he's here in spirit as Kahu is uh, letting the Chosens continue forward with their uh, adventure tonight. Um, and last but not least. Uh, hello, everybody. I am Mark of Marky Gaming. So, uh, yeah, come hang out with me and Rach on our channel as well. Mike will be there on Sundays as well, too. So if you like Mike, come on over, too. Oh, um, well, that's not how you advertise it. <laughs> if you want to see Mike cry in character a lot, mm -hmm. come. That's true. Yeah. yeah. Sunday will be interesting, that's for sure. I think there will be some tears. Oh, no. Possibly. Sunday will be interesting. I'll just put it that way. <laughs> So, uh, Beacon Zora, our D&D game on Sundays. Come by 2 p.m. CST. Super fun time. And, yeah, Rachel's art. I'm playing Zelda, Breath of the Wild. Trying to get through it to get to Scott, or to get to Wind Waker. Because I got my cord. I'm so happy about that. <laughs> nice. Oh, your cord, yeah. Yes. Okay, that's all. Perfect. Goodbye. <laughs> Super fun, uh, guys. We have an amazing community here. As you can hear, um, half of us stream, half of us are creative with art or music or graphic design, whatever it is, storytelling. 
Um, if you are interested in hanging out with this community, check out our Discord. We share it with uh, basically all the other streamers, uh, mainly with Marquee Gaming. And like we're the two that uh, started the Discord, but everyone else kind of uses it as like a hub as well. So it's super exciting and we love hanging out and chatting with anime stuff and movies and whatnot. And Loki, my hero, or Pokemon Go, everything. So it's uh, super fun uh, to hang out with. And um, yeah, so it's just great. But even though we don't have Kahu here and John here tonight, we don't take him for granted. Another another lava joke there. See? Uh, I was sitting on that, that was one. A, that was a it's, rock club Yeah, joke. that's a rock well, joke. Is that a lava turns into rocking? granite, but okay. No, it, it turns does. into obsidian. So that went over y'all's heads. It's fine. It's okay. Googling right now, pumice, does lava turn into it, granite? It turns into pumice. Look, I know all the facts about lava. Do you know that you can actually eat lava? Only once, though. <laughs> Anyways, with that being said, we're gonna start tonight's game of Oh, Phoenix. he's right, you guys. He's right. Just let you. What? Yeah. Welcome to Rock Club, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Rock Club! Uh guys, I'm at Bardic Dice. I actually have to know some things, and I did Google these jokes beforehand, so <laughs> anyways, uh we'll go ahead and get started with tonight's game of Fates United, as we have a lot to get to tonight. We jump back in. Under the erupting vision of the volcano in the distance. The reds, the oranges glowing atop the skies of dark twilight. Green flowing off in the background. The desert landscapes of the plains underneath. Up in our familiar hillside, our old man, the narrator, the long beard, seems to also have a necklace of similar rock that Kahu had green in the middle, and differing colors rocks around his neck. Sits down. Well, remember everyone that the Chosens can't do this alone. It is only together, united, that they can step forward to find the answers they need, create the paths and defeat darkness in the way to make peace everlasting in the world. Last time I spoke with you, Kahuranji and the other Chosens went underneath the volcano, following in the footsteps of Benias' father, Helen, at the archaeologist's dig site. Whoa, that's, that's a, that's a big word. Uh, you know, it's been a while since I've... <clears throat> Anyways. Exploring throughout, it seemed that most had already been explored and researched. Everything had been notated, though they did find a smoldering uh, piece of armor on the wall. About that time, Kahu had found half of a gr green crystalline rock, similar to the one that he wears around his neck, the Kahuraji stone. Upon finding the second half of this crystal, Almost as if fate had deemed it. He felt drawn to the back wall of this ruin. This wall had stumped Anais's father, Kellum, for many years. A symbol in the middle and eight crystalline circles around it. Feeling almost drawn to it as if he could help his allies. He placed the two crystals in together, as each of the Chosen's owned crystals that they held glowed and allowed this door to be unlocked. In that moment, feeling that his duty was to protect and help his friends, he began to, to spirit walk. As the, as the other Chosen saw him and will step forward beyond into another realm, his body image stayed as he knelt down meditating, but it was almost as if he was beyond a wall of etherealness. Kahu, having been confronted in some strange altar site on top of a mountainside that seemed to be near this volcano, storms traveling, and an old lady appearing before him, speaking of strange tidings 
grand schemes upon the land of death and revenge as he spoke of forgiveness. He looked beyond the altar and saw a crying Kalishtar baby. Maybe himself. Dead upon the altar and then brought back to life by a glowing Kaharanji star. Feeling his need and his ability to help his friends, the eight pillars that surrounded this altar came alive with shadow creatures, humanoid figures. And using everything that he had within him, he fought off each one, defeating four before the others disappeared in a flash. As he now stands before, floating in some sort of spirit ocean world, speaking to his affinity, before everything just going white. And he knows that whatever his duty here is to help hold the door open and give light and a path to the other Chosens to go forward. And that's where we return into tonight's Fates United game is all three of you can see this door open up as his he turns to you and you know kind of nods and you see his main form almost get absorbed into these crystals and it powers up green lines that you can see go up on the door and allow it to open and he's just kneeling there a echo, a spirit, a ghost of what his body once was. Uh, <laughs> is this the chosen thing? You hear Vicarious just kind of reacting. No. Kahu? We can still see him. You can see almost like a echo or an outline, a vision of him, but it's transparent it's just an outline almost as if like a mirage in the distance but it's up close he doesn't seem to react to you this is weird uh Rachel you're, you're muted, muted. <laughs> par for the course I mean yeah as, as usual that's fine <laughs> Uh, I love that it's a thing because it puts you in character, and makes us feel like, oh, so that's what it looks like when yeah. she's just like mouthing and signing the words. You know? <laughs> I'm glad it helps. I love you your dedication to the character. Yeah, yeah it's great. Yeah. Um, can I like see if I can pass my hand through him? Goes right through. She signs to Bry. I'm not sure if that's a chosen thing. I can't do that. <laughs> I've never I can't... seen anything like this before. Should we try to touch? Why don't you all give me an arcana check? Twelve. Twelve. Nope. Eighteen. One. <laughs> oh, oh, crap. Is the volume okay for you guys? I just realized my volume is off. Everything sounds yeah. fine? Okay. Yeah. I'm cool. um, sorry, what was the numbers? 12. I got an 18. One. Mekai, you are freaking out about what's happening to Kahu. Um, Anais, you saw his visage enter into the crystals, and the crystals are st still a glow. Mm -hmm. Pretty much all you can get together, but. Zach, you start overlooking the runic lines and where this green aura, and you can kind of track it with your knowledge of arcane runes and crystals that you've seen so far, just the, the ones that you've come across at the Centaurium. You can definitely pick up on the fact that this crystal that's powered, or that's glowing, seems to be powering this door, either to remain open or to ignite some sort of arcane power system in this place. You feel like whatever that crystal's doing is is why you're able to open this door here. 
And Brycarius actually follows up with you to the door as he's overlooking it, and he goes, These stones that you guys placed your crystals up to, these are uh, Dalk stones. D-A-L-K. D-A-L-K-H, sorry. Wait, can't... Can you spell that? It's not right. Yeah, D-A-L-K-H. D-A-L-K-H. Okay, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I, sometimes it needs to be very slow. Sure, yeah, you're good, you're good. <laughs> those are... Those are similar to what we've found so far, but it's the same as your... your cat eye. Just... different. These seem to... to absorb energy versus exert them like the ones we've found. Uh, she signs, what do you mean, absorb and exert? Your cat eye is able to be enhanced to exert certain properties. Just as, obviously, all four of you, I guess, have some sort of crystalline that apparently never picked up on before, but he's kind of looking mainly at Meikai, because he's seen, like, uh, Zachary's staff crystal. But, um... These stones are different. It seemed the exertion of the arcane power that your items gave is what activated these stones. They take and absorb arcane magic to activate. Um, I've seen similar things with spells like locks or arcane generators, but nothing quite like this. This seemed like these... It just seems different. You're saying something? Sorry, I'm <laughs> gonna sneeze. Bless you. Uh, while she's doing that, is there, uh, uh -huh. is there... Are we taking... Like, did we take them out? Or are they still in the... So your crystals are... You still have them, but... Whatever it was glowing when you put them up to these other crystals in the act. So it's almost like it started it. Yeah. But we took it away now. It's not like you it still has have to your be stuff. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Just making sure. It's just there's like uh, before you didn't notice them, but they were like clear marbles sized crystals that were there. Mm hmm. And when you activated them, they started glowing and still are glowing in the same affinity color and seem to be almost like some sort of like. Zachary, you kind of get the idea of like some sort of unlock, like a key. So, there's eight of them, right? Correct. And there are four that we did that are all a certain color, right? Correct. The other four, are those all one color, like the green, or they turn a different color? Currently, they are transparent because they're not activated. But they do have, and if you like look and rub away some of the dust and examine it, they do have affinity symbols next to them. Okay, because I think we saw that last week, there's even a darkness one. Mm -hmm. But It's um... different than the, the image of Sundavir that you've seen. But it's similar in makeup to it. But it's definitely trying so... to allude to a darkness... So kind of like how every symbol I see with other stuff at the place by the Centaurium is different than what we have now. Correct. Almost like okay. different interpretations of them. But they are all kind of based around the similar thing. Okay. So only our four are lit up and the other ones are not? Correct. Okay. Can we take this back and get Kahu back? The only thing that I will clarify is that the green stone in the middle that Kahu went into is still glowing, though it's in two halves on each door. Mm. And it seems to be pulsating green glowing energy into the through the door and then if you start looking past the door as well. Uh. I see what's beyond the door. 
Yeah, go ahead, give me a perception check. Do you have dark vision? Yes, I do. I just dropped my d20 into the void. That is a one, sir. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, no. 15. 15? Uh, I'll look two. That would be a two. You drop your uh, d20. It's fine. <laughs> I have dark vision, though. <laughs> What'd you get, D? 15. 15. Um, yeah, you're kind of straining, but like the, the glow of the green is, is taking too much. The rest of you can see a downward staircase with lines of green that seem to go down and disappear into darkness. So as an ice is like looking out past the door and like remembering just kind of what they've been picking up on these past few, I don't know, days or months or whatever. Uh, she turns to Brian. She almost looks a little excited. Just love it. But she signs to him he was right. Yeah. You get to follow in his footsteps. And push forward and find out what answers are here. You were obviously guided to it. Are we going to get Kahu back? She points to the crystal and the door. <laughs> I think he's holding the door open. I don't... I don't know. I, I don't understand this dynamic much. I've heard of it, of what he was saying, but I don't know anything of it. It's very Goliath and Kalish to our culture. You said to trust him, but um, he also disappeared. We can try and take the crystal out, or I can stay here with him, make sure he's safe, if the three of you want to continue forward. Well, don't you want to go in and, like, see all your sciency research stuff? I do, but I don't want to leave him here alone, either. I can't see anything in there. It's so dark. <laughs> and I just, like, waves her hand through Kahu again, and then she signs, I think he'll be fine. Right? Could anyone hurt him like this? I don't know. What if he pops back out and needs help? I mean, okay, not to sound bad, but would you be able to help him in that kind of way? Like healing or I mean, something? I have a few potions on me and oh, okay. to protect him if anyone, oh. anything comes. I mean, it's up to you, whatever you guys want. I just was, I didn't think you should leave someone unattended, that's all. That's true. Hmm. And Are we going in there? To be honest, I'm. I was. Nice <laughs> nods, like yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Hey you, guys, like you three are the ones that seem to be led here by the affinity. You three are the chosen, not me. Um. Uh... Trust your guidance, whatever you wish. Um, and I will. You. And I will like, sign. How about if you feel like we sh you should stay, then you can. But if we run into trouble, I can get you. And she like holds up the message stone, and then you can come help. You hear just a that's a great idea. I always have it on my side. Oh, sorry. Yes, uh, I, do, I do have the sending stone. I can use that to answer back. And he says like out loud because the other one was in your <laughs> in your head. Uh. Right, Karius, I appreciate that you believe in us, but um, we're also like, you know, not that yet, not that old, and um, probably shouldn't be listening to wisdom coming from us. Puts his hand on and your shoulder. Make I. The affinities chose you for a reason. Great. You need to trust your own instinct. <laughs> yeah. Last time I did that, I ended up cutting my fiancé. You also freed a, a water temple and a quarry, gained a weapon, gained friends. You've saved a lot of people who come here. I just want to get Kahu back so he's not a floating outline. 
Oh, if he's doing this for you all. Go down there and get what you came here to get, right? Which was... Points over to a knife. <laughs> it's just all the end. Your dead stuff? Um... And I will write down, because she she's kind of picking up that you have some sign language, but not yeah. a ton. So she writes, I think I told you this. Maybe I didn't. I had a dream about this place. I think there's something here that's important. I just don't know what. There's oh. definitely something here. Then, okay. I mean... Kahu might be, like, transported with magic or something that I... It's over my head. <sighs> okay. Well. If you hear screaming, Bri, then probably come running. Oh, of course. Or just leave us. I mean, I guess. She, like, holds up the stone again. <laughs> I wouldn't leave you all. Uh, yeah. Which one of you two is better at seeing plates on the ground that are going to drop stone walls on us? Okay, you're I mean, first. Whoever's better Anais, at that. Anais and I can probably... I mean, if you can, like, bring up the rear with your light to, like, extra help and see, maybe that'll be good. Anais and I can keep an eye out together. More specifically. Yeah, I can have my light on. We're closer to the ground, so it might be a little easier. What? What's uh? Does Zach look freaked out? Is that what his mood is right now? Mm, uh, probably a little bit. My guy's very freaked out. <laughs> <laughs> he, he looks curious, but he also looks a little nervous. Okay. Um, Anias just signs to both of them. Uh, I think this is important. Yeah, I do too. If you want me to go in front, if you guys are scared, I can. Go for it. Um, I got your back. I'll, I'll keep an eye out with you, but yeah, if you wanted to... Um, We'll work together on it. So, yeah. Thank goodness we can all see in the dark. <laughs> well, yeah. I can't. Well, I mean, a little bit, but not a whole lot. I, my eyes have gone lately. Anyways, good luck. <laughs> well, good Maybe. luck just being in here in the dark. May the Ancient One be with you and guide you. Do you want a light, Bri? He kind of like he ha has his own dancing light. Oh. Okay. Well, here's another one, and I'll cast light on a stone. <laughs> uh, thank you. <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs> all right. So, as you all push forward into this descending staircase, you all look around and grazing your hand on the stones it's cracked limestone mixing with the sandstone from above a grayness to the to the to the dark rock it seems to grow darker and darker as you go down it seems to be also gaining a volcanic sediment as well to the mixture of this rock you look up and you can see the lines of green passing through very archaic and beautiful line work mixing and making different elements and geometric shapes there's a smell of dust and almost this old air that seems to be passing up from down below where you're heading also a heat just barely a, a, a heated air, almost like a vent coming up now that the door's open. As you guys are heading down, yeah? One point. Did you put the armor on, Rach? And I, I don't think it fits me right now. They have to fix it. Right? That's what you said, what, is it was too big. Would I be aware of anything about magical items and 
fittingness. <laughs> uh, Zachary, in your time with Arcanist Turin, you get the sense that you know the fact that anything arcane does magically reside. Yeah, it should fit you if you just start putting it on. Not the first one, but the smoldering one that you guys found. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, not the junk one. The cool one. Oh. I guess she might do it really quick if they seem okay to wait. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'd do, be a little tank. <laughs> the tiniest <laughs> tank. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll put it on really fast. So in the middle of the stairs in the darkness. <laughs> heading down into the I got my staff island. on. <laughs> oh, that's not a dark no I mean, I it's, it's, just, no, it's in the light but I'm just saying like in the encroaching <laughs> darkness from either end oh I thought um, we just like went back up to Barcarius yeah. oh sorry we I'm gonna take that stone by the way no. <laughs> no, you guys. I mean you guys can see you have dark vision you have light going on I'm just saying the encroaching darkness from above and below because it's, yeah, yeah. it's more than 60 feet from the top to the bottom um, take about 10 minutes to unarm whatever you're wearing for armor and redon this it's weird because at first, as you're putting on the pieces, it's way stoutier than you. About the same height, but just stoutier. And then as you go to tie the leather, just everything shrinks and form fits perfectly as the best That's tailor exciting. you've ever had. And then as it does, the armor seems to heat. Not heat, like temperature-wise, but glow with a red and begin to smolder off dark shadow smoke. From what you're wearing. You look oh. very intimidating. <laughs> also, I wish all my clothes came like that. <laughs> uh, you can add to your inventory a uncommon uh, smoldering armor half plate. And also homebrewed where you don't have uh, disadvantage on dexterity. Hey. Or uh, on stealth, sorry. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Armor... Seems okay, it's to called be smoldering armor. Smoldering half armor. plate. Yep, you can look it up in D and D Beyond, actually. Okay, sounds good. So, well, thank you. It. Oh, you look pretty cool and nice. Uh huh. You like, like looks the at most... that smolder. It's like a little well, excited. The very, very well armored. Very well designed, and it seems that this steel is seems to be some sort of premium level made steel, and has a red cape. <gasps> cape, cape. <laughs> Just don't get sucked into anything. True. Don't fly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. True. Um, um, she signs thanks for helping me get it. I think they all helped her. I can't remember it. It was me and my mage head, but that's okay. I'm yeah. It was dry. <laughs> but we're like, yeah, yeah, sure. Sure, it's fine. Yeah, we it's did. It's fine. It's okay. You put it on. Fine. I'm just protecting a friend and getting you armor to protect you. She's, it's fine. She was probably zoned out till they like to do it. So I'm just joking. they probably like. Uh, to be honest, she is so zoned out a lot. She was probably like looking at something else until someone handed it to her. Like here you go, your some armor. And I'm like oh cool. Oh cool, great. Awesome. Where'd you get it? <laughs> Got it for me. Lava room. <laughs> um. Okay. So we can keep going. I I will add to. I am looking out for any sort yeah. of traps or okay. anything like that. Are Same. You guys stealthing or going normal speed? Are you rushing down? Let's be sneaky. Uh, I feel like. Are we doing not the beacons rushing. or uh, walking? Normal I, we might. <laughs> I'm. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm going whatever the pace they're going because I'm behind yeah. them. So. Especially because, like, if Kahu is the one that's fueling this, you know, I don't want to. You guys let that's me know. That's fair. No. What? Uh -oh. gone. Well, bye. Okay. Well. Okay, so she, that was two. Okay. She <laughs> in she shadow. Still... The armor just explodes <laughs> in front of you. <laughs> so this guy a lot worse. All right. Uh, who's next? Well, that's great. okay. That's hi. Sorry. Hi. And the I armor re just... reconnects, and she's fine. <laughs> she rolled. Uh, she rolled uh, Discord just froze. Does the armor do that normally? She rolled uh, 43 on stealth and just disappeared. To the shadow realm. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I think it's good. It's still like being really weird, but Oh no. Okay. Alright, well we'll we'll deal with it as it comes up. All good. Yeah. Okay. I'm All helping right. her, so can she get advantage or do I also have to roll separately? Up to you. You guys either roll separately I, uh, or advantage. Whatever you want. I'll give you advantage. Thanks. Yeah. 
Uh, 17. And this is on uh, investigation for Shuppies? Yeah. Or, yes? No? Is that uh, what that was Would it be for? perception? Investigation, right? Oh, okay. Um, no, that would be less than. That would be uh, 14. 14? Okay. Mm -hmm. Am I doing that right? It is investigation for... Uh, investigation right? is not like... like do you typically do perception? It can go either way, because it's like noticing stuff is more perception, and like mm -hmm. digging through stuff is for investigation. So, that's what I picture it as typically. Like seeing, smelling, senses versus digging. On this one, I'm going to go investigation because as you're looking around, you're, you're investigating into different mechanics or tiles, you know, holes in the wall, things like that. So you're, you're, you're examining and combing through your surrounding for, for now. So, uh, all right, you continue forward at a little bit of a slower pace because you are taking your time to look around. You do have the light, you do have dark vision. You don't seem to see anything like similar to the, the aisle that made the stonework fall earlier. Even looking at the lines, everything seems fine. You do notice, however, as you start continuing down, there is a part that the rocks seem to have fallen out a little bit and it's it's hotter at this point. Almost as if there's something on the other side heating through and breaking in. The stairs where you're at seem to be broken at that point and that you look up and the tube is a crystalline glass tube that coming down holding that green aura seems very cracked and almost less strong at that point. But it doesn't seem to set off anything. Everything seems fine. You continue down forward, and we will switch over to our battle cam. Battle cam for this one. Our map cam. As I made a custom map for you guys to explore last night. Wow. wow. So, as you make your way to the bottom of the stairwell, uh, we'll go... Uh, did I close out the other one? Where is my other version of roll 20? There it is. Okay. So you'll be first. You guys are going one by one like that. Mm -hmm. As you make your way to the bottom, about 30 feet from the bottom, and the stairwells again seem to crumble and break as it gets to the, the bottom of this. You see, start seeing very nice tiled stonework at the bottom. And as you start seeing the vision of all of this you can see different aesthetics or i hate to say artwork but just different styles on the wall of reds browns and greens different paints and metals and the walls are kind of covered it's very aesthetic here as if this has been carved out and made to look very royal very very nice uh, you also come to the bottom and find a almost like a statue pillar that looks like it would have held a fountain in it, but it's dried up with a singular larger marble like you've seen before, similar to the ones in the wall, but it seems to be pulsing red right now. And you're about 30 feet away from it. Um... You can kind of see off to the sides where the archways are. Those are doors. Pulsating red. Did we see when everything lit up, but when the doors opened, did, was there anyone that was red? No. Okay. No. Okay. What do you guys do? Um, I'll go look at it, but I'll still try to be careful. Are you I don't want to touch it. <laughs> Alright, so you're staying back from it? Or are you going into, like, range of it to see, look, like, how are you approaching it? Like, I mean, I would go up to it, but I just wouldn't touch it. Okay. I'd just be, like, trying you're to look at it. just kind of looking over at it. Um, mm -hmm. You can give me... Um, an investigation check. Oh no. Uh four. Four. No, six. <laughs> oh no. 
so good. It's very well made in the pillar and everything here, but it seems to be... You can see similar tubes that are inert go from the bottom of the pillar out in two different directions. I don't oh. like the green one. Similar to the green one, but it's this is just pulsing red. Um, Zachary, you, as you're kind of like looking over your shoulder, coming closer, you do get some sort of arcane aura from it. If you want to make it? So it's the check. same type of crystal as the ones in the door upstairs. Based on y'all's first checks at the moment, it seems similar. You said hey, Arcana. All right, you can give me an Arcana check if you want. They look. Okay. It looks like the Dalka stone from before. Fourteen. Fourteen. Based on what you picked up before, and what you continue to examine here, you get the idea if it's functioning the same as Kahu's. Kahu seemed to need that specific crystal to open up that door. This seems to be more similar to the other crystals that you guys used your own chosen crystals for. Though it already seems to have almost like an inactive power within it. You get the feeling like it's just maybe it needs some sort of arcane push, arcane urge to it. It's not charged. Something has to be given it to it to unlock. Do I see any indicator of what would fit with it? Um, like a symbol, a rune, any markings, Dorvish writing. Uh, why well, don't you can give me a uh another investigation check for you? Guidance. Yeah, okay. Sure. <laughs> There we go. I allow really it. Good. <laughs> 21. 21. Um, yeah, you guys are kind of looking around at these doors and all everything. And Mekai and I, as you're like turning away from the pillars, looking at the doors, you see very much symbols of dwarven humanoids, men and women, wearing very similar armor to what Anais is wearing with red capes, defending and almost standing guard at these doors in this like symbology of like uh, metal that's filled into the wall as you're investigating this you can see dwarven at the bottom of the pillar and it says offer up that that has been given by the affinity to proceed doesn't uh -huh. seem to be any sort of rune or another item that interacts I'll say, uh, step back for a second, and I'll tap the tip of my staff to it. As you do, you can feel the arcane from your yellow crystal and the red zapping a little bit. You clink it. And nothing happens. Do we, like, all have to do it together? And Ice is looking at him, like, questioningly, like, why did he do that? Oh, I guess. Never mind. I didn't know that. It yeah, we didn't hear him. <laughs> to offer up that what was given by the affinities. So I did, and yeah. Maybe it wants blood. And Ice just does sacred flame on it. Sacred flame. Mm -hmm. Out of nowhere, the two of you see a column of radiant white, almost cracking with lightning through it uh light that erupts um kind of just like as a big column on this pillar as you guys kind of shield yourself for a second uh looking over at an eyes and you kind of see her like you know shrugging like sorry, <laughs> but, so like, sorry. Here, but she is the one <laughs> what casting was that for? um you see the red <laughs> it definitely reacted but it definitely, it seemed to lose its power as it goes back to this glowing strobe. But it does, it did seem to react to the spell she being signs, activated on it. She signs our power was from them, right? What power? Magic? The what? 
Uh, your magic chick? Too. She said magic. Magic. Chick? I'm like, who? What? What chick? Is Sasha here? <laughs> magic. Magic. Sorry, it's, it's, it's the accent, you know. <laughs> As uh, okay. Watch out. Firebolt. The thing. All right, before you guys even get a... You like, take a half step, and then Firebolt uh, erupts from what, your hand or your staff? Uh, I'll do my staff. Okay. It hits this crystal and... Poof, seems to erupt in flames before the flames normally would disperse and kind of, like, affect everything around it. it seems to be absorbed into the stone as the stone starts burning brighter and brighter until it starts burning white. And this white light seems to follow the tubes into the two doors on either side. And you kind of hear this Great. click, click, click on both doors. Because they seem to maybe unlock or something's happening to the door. She gives a very, like, satisfied nod to Zach. <laughs> guess <laughs> I that mean, worked. I was, I was going to cast Fireball, but I guess I don't need to anymore. Please <laughs> don't. Kidding. <laughs> yeah, she, she looks like can you she gives her like can you do that no i can't <laughs> i was about to move our tokens Doors on open? the twitch screen <laughs> okay i tried that too oh, <laughs> oh like on the twitch oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> are yeah, the doors what, open or are yeah, they what's going on with the they are uh, they seem to be unlocked and you can almost see like crossed arms that move and unlock in the in the artwork and the the figurines that are on the door, but they are closed. If you want to open them, here we go. That way or that way? That way. Okay. <laughs> Which one are you guys opening? <laughs> Left. Someone move their token. Yeah, I'm gonna say because I don't know it which depends on what direction. Whichever one you is leading, take the lead that on one. this. one. Okay. All right. Ooh, thunder. You open wow. this one. How come every time we stream, it's like storming lately? The How come storm Arizona? The stormy girl. <gasps> He's come. Okay. Um. <laughs> yeah. Can I investigate it before sure. we open yeah. it? Um, I will I'll give you her. kind of an active investigation role for now, as you guys are walking through. And if I feel I'm like helping. you need another one, I'll. Okay. Because I don't want you to go each block and have an investigation role. Right. Uh, seventeen. Seventeen. You seem very confident as you're looking around. Besides these tubing, you don't really perceive much else, but you guys can all see very ornate artwork and it. It goes to show different elements and you can see into this hallway too, as it continues of uh, the dwarves, um, shorter, stoutier humanoid figures, um, mining deep into a mountain and creating a castle and mining deep and discovering a volcano. But in each image, there's always the sign of the earth infinity above it, almost blessing down upon the rest. All right. Okay. So it's definitely earth affinity themed decor going Very on much here. Everywhere. Okay. Yes. They went a little it's overboard on it. Strictly earth. You do not see it's, any it's other like those... affinities. Okay. It's like that junior high kid that's obsessed with dolphins and like their room is like covered in dolphin posters. To an extent, um, <laughs> yes. Just... But Follow you your also, dreams. well, maybe not yet. No, yeah. in, at the moment, yes, yes, I'll give you that. I'll give you that as well. <laughs> okay. Especially at your first kind of like discovery of all this. Yes, perfect. Okay, I'll go forward. <laughs> okay. All right, and you guys are heading this way, right? Yeah. All right. Um, this door seems unlocked as well. Um, and actually, I'll say th th this isn't a door. This is just kind of like an open way into the next room. Uh, as you guys can look in and see. A room that opens up with a large statue of a... What looks similar to Sir Garrick. A humanoid figure... With large muscles and rock-like skin, long hair, and seems to have almost like a halo-type image around his head, holding a, a, a war hammer, 
and seems to command and statue over all of this. And you can see the images of the Earth, Deloy, um, around it. You think this is their version or their imagery of Deloy. You can see an anvil on the side. Mm. Um, and in here, this is where the... The imagery goes from obsession to historical, almost. Almost this idea of a waste, barren landscape. And a comet that hits. And then from it, this affinity drew and grew and created this area and this town. And it seems more of description of living among him. This affinity walking among and teaching the dwarves various skill sets of smithing, of digging, of war. Strength. As you move into the room, though, you also can feel an intensity of the heat picking up in this room to your right, down this hallway here. And let me go back to my select this tool. This one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And you can even see a glowing red coming down from that hallway. I need all three of you to give me a constitution saving throw. I was going to say, upon seeing that, I'd probably say, like, maybe we should avoid going in that room. 18. Oh, 10. 10? 12. All right. All of you start to feel a little bit of a, a drip of moisture and sweat forming, but seem to be handling the heat pretty well so far. Um, question. Answer. In my dream. Um, now I'm talking like Karis. In my dream, <laughs> uh... In the I, dream that I in had. In the dream. <laughs> <laughs> no, whenever I think out loud, it's her now. Oh, no. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, what, what about it? <laughs> oh, my gosh, if you DM'd like red. That'd Crazy times. Okay. Oh, that'd be an amazing one shot. Okay, go ahead. In the dream I had, is is anything looking familiar right now? Aside from starting to feel the heat, which I know that was in the dream. The but. only thing that seems to fam semi-familiar is the red and brown aesthetic of the artwork. But okay. it, even then, it's not as grandiose as you saw. Okay. It's not, and it's not similar to this room, but the stonework seems similar. This place feels like you're in the right place, just not. It's like getting closer. Correct. Kind of. Okay. 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 Cool. Um. Yeah, I would like be kind of looking around, going in. Cool. Let's uh, maybe let's avoid going down to um. The that door. You can see another pillar with the red glowing orb at the door to the north. The other two doors don't seem to have any sort of pillar or locking mechanism or anything. You want to into that one too? Uh, I can. I just want to look at this statue for a second. And are, see if I see anything. Closed? I want to uh, look for any more riddles. The other three <laughs> doors are closed. This The door that you came into was, like, I'll say it was already open, because I did say that these are doors, but okay. they're kind of like archways into the next room, as well as doors. But I couldn't find a door that stood out well enough that, like, made it look any different, so, yeah. I'll just <laughs> say, if, if you do get to any of these that are open, they're just the doors are already open. Yeah, I'm going to look for any more riddles of, like, anything, you know? Like the last room. Sure. Uh, go ahead and give me another investigation check. Good! Good it! Uh, investigation... See, I'm hoping the nicer I am to giving him guidance all the time, that Renan gets the guidance more often. Yeah. 16. The way I see it is, like, if, I, if he's, like, preparing to look at something, I'm like, okay, guidance. But if it's a reaction, that's maybe not... Yeah, it's that's like, okay, time to look around this room. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, like, help me, please! Yep. Yeah. Cool. 16. Um, you look around and there's not anything sort of like a riddle. But there is um, wording that states uh, blessings come from Deloy. Strength from above. 
unity within. So it's it's less of a riddle and just more of speakings to the the strength of the teachings that he's taught them and kind of like the lifestyle that they have here. Walking around, I'll kind of go by and put my hand on the anvil and just say, I think Kahu would have liked it here. I, yeah, I hope he, we can come back and he'll be okay. And I have signs we can remember everything to tell him if the doors close and we come back. Also, yeah. well, let me make sure I'm not getting my names wrong. It wasn't looking. Uh, oh my gosh, go over Earth. Deloitte, yeah, okay, okay. Uh, you know that um, Kahu's is the water Adurna. Yeah, but he likes doing black mist. Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah. All, all of a sudden, for a second, I was like, "Wait, am I saying Kahu's affinity, not Dilla?" Okay. Yeah, and he no, like no. then, you know, he had some time with the dwarves too, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, whoops. True. Uh, oh well, they're not here either. Heard. So. <laughs> oh no. Um. I'm not much about I... his history with them. So. While he's looking at that, can I really be studying all these doors? and even testing to see if they're locked or not sure you go down to the southern one down at the bottom mm -hmm. uh that has a heat to the metal it, it it doesn't burn you but it just makes you retract for a second uh this door seems unlocked the one at the top seems unlocked but the one at the the one with the glowing orb seems locked in place and it's a similar thing the the arms cross over and you see the tube the glass tubes uh, heading to the door on each side did you say the top one has the 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 one with the red orb that you okay. can see on the map? So top of the map. There. Yeah, that's the one that's locked. Okay. This one and this yeah. one are unlocked. Sorry, I was trying to click on the on my player one, not on my DM one. I was like, why are they not clicking? <laughs> Do you want me to open this one or try to? She signs. Should we look at this other one first? He's out there too. Do you want to? Um, Whatever you feel like doing, I'll do. I, uh, yeah, that's fine. I feel like maybe lava is going to come out or something, so maybe be careful. But you have armor on. You be good. She like looks at the smolder again. <laughs> it just kind of smiles. It looks, <laughs> it looks really intimidating. The next time we have to kick people's butts in um. The fighting, I think you'll be very intimidating. Where'd you get that from? The she secret door in city. <laughs> yeah. Here comes the smolder. <laughs> uh, so, orb door. I'll just, I'll, I'll just like push open this the door, the hot door. The hot door. Yeah. Lava flows Lava out. We all flows die. In. Give me oh, Dexter no! to save me. Throw. Create a new character. We're doing a new <laughs> campaign. No, you're fine. <laughs> Um, I do need you to give me another constitution saving throw, however. Okay. Ha! Ah, seven. <laughs> seven? Oops. Mm -hmm. Okay. Noted. Noted. Oops. <laughs> All right. But uh, the, the blast of heat comes past you as you adjust to it for a second. Uh, and it kind of catches your breath for a second as you look in and you can see glowing lava erupting out of cracks in the ground down only about like from the corner of the walls it's not like you could still walk past it and it but as you look directly in with your uh sight you can see what begins to be a some sort of like cart track that seemed to remind you of the quarry but you can definitely see moving glowing lava that seems to melt away the track as it goes into what seems to be some sort of dark cave or mine that goes deeper down into this mountain. Um, she signs to the other two. I just remember in my dream it was really hot. That's why I wanted to look in it. Okay. Smart. Do you continue well. down that way? Maybe at least to see. I don't know. 
If anybody else doesn't want to, though, they I'll can back her up. Me. I'll walk in with her. Okay. You guys walk in. Uh, Zachary, I need a constitution saving throw from you as you walk into this. Extremely, the, the heat temperature rises drastically as you enter through this barrier. 17. 17. All right. Again, you uh, kind of wipe it away and acclimate to it just fine. But, as you both walk in, you can see what was a servicing mine quarry. You can see carts and uh, different areas where things were set up, but a lot of it has been destroyed. As You can see the cave work uh, cracking down and falling as almost rivers of lava seem to be flowing in. And not like coming into the room or anything, they seem to have stopped in their paths. But as you look down into what where... This, their mining cart would have taken into the darkness. It's just a glow of bright orange and reds. Um, and mm -hmm. you can see where the lava almost like comes from one side of the room and goes out underneath in another one. And you start getting an idea maybe there's veins of lava and that's why it's so hot down here. Is there anything, anything in these? Yeah, is there anything in the carts or any supplies that look interesting? You guys search around, and you can see, I mean, a few broken kind of, like, spikes or, like, some mining gear. But nothing really of interest. Uh, a few rocks. There's no ore, even. This place seems to have been abandoned. Okay. Even more so than the rest of this place. Okay. So Maybe she's we'll kind of short. Yeah. Yeah, let's keep looking. Seems to be a little bit of a dead end. Yeah, so we'll go back up. So, glowy door? Um, yeah. All right, watch out, everybody. Firebolt off the staff. All right. Um, firebolt. Uh, that is. On, you know, I was thinking, okay, I messed up earlier. Uh, okay, this one seems to be, I messed up earlier. I was thinking Firebolt was the first level spell. I apologize. Technically, it should not have opened the other one, but I'll allow it on the first one. It hits this one and seems to do the same thing as um, Sacred Flame, where it starts powering this up and it absorbs it, but it seems to not be enough energy. I apologize. I messed up on the last one, so... I won't punish you guys for the that one. That is my mistake. This one seems to be a little bit more powerful of an orb. Don't have any more powerful fire spells, guys. Uh, I'm not magic. Go ahead and give me. Uh, well, base. Give me another Arcana check, Zachary. That's a nine. Even with a nine, as you're looking at both of these pillars now, there's nothing on it that gives any sort of indication of element. Okay. So, like, cast more high-level magic, you're saying? Potentially. That's probably what you're getting from it, yes. Okay. I'm going to try something unique, and I'm going to cast Bless on... That thing and my two friends. Nice. <laughs> just, just double it. I'm still it. using it. Yep. <laughs> so it doesn't waste it. I like That's it. Great. Um, no, it only powers up a third of the spell. I'm so sorry. <laughs> nah, right. No, it's fine. It, it it begins to cast, and you see the orange the the orange sun like orb radiating from this, and then it slowly turns white, begins to uh, charge, and unlocks the door. As well as Meikai and you. You both have a, a bit of a sunlight radiation that seems to shimmer. And you feel inspired. For the next minute. <laughs> and the bowl is bigger. Um, uh, I'm going to sorcery point. Two sorcery points to get first level back. Perfect. Um, you wouldn't notice... Nice. Nice. What's your passive? So yeah. Seventeen. Um, as he's casting this on this on that, you hear a 
echoing sound or screech-esque thing. Very soft and chittering down the other hallway in reaction to this can orb. Can I, like, glance down? Uh, you can go and glance down, sure. But you have mm -hmm. to you have to move in with an eyesight. Well, if I, like, can I look down the hallway? Yeah, but you, I'm just saying you have to move an angle to that hallway, yeah. Am I not right now? Or are you talking about a different hallway? I think this I'm hallway. This hallway. This one. Sorry, <gasps> this one. Oh, sorry. I was like, I'm literally right here. I don't know how, <laughs> no, no, what not, other angle not, not you the want. Not the way. Sorry, not the way you came. Okay, from, yeah, I'll one. go over that one. Yeah. Yep. Um, as you look down, uh, you can. Oops. <laughs> I was doing that when I was DMing <laughs> last week. You can't see anything. Um, <laughs> And you don't you don't have a light source, do you? You just have dark vision. Um. Yeah. Not currently. If my staff does anything too, I got that on. Yeah, so. it's kind of cascading down a little bit. You can see what seems like moving stalactites from the top of the ceiling here, and the screeching coming from it as you like look down. Something seems disturbed here. Okay. I'll kind of like wave my hand to the others and like mm -hmm. point down the hallway. Yeah. What? Let's take a. She signs Shh. there's something moving over there. On the Let's ceiling. Get in here then. I'll go to the door. <laughs> yeah. As as he says that, uh, I need all three of you guys to roll initiative. As oh they no. just seem to have noticed you guys. Good. Then we got bless up. Yep. <laughs> I was like, Natural. We'll, very we'll, nice. we'll see if it's enough to give you guys a bless. <laughs> Natural 20 for a 22. Nice. All right. You guys, my, I, my AC is like really nice. Yeah. Yeah, look at you go. I was like, I was going through y'all's ACs. I was like, oh, we need to change some of this. <laughs> hey, my AC is fine. Thank you very much. 14. It's not that great. It'll get better. <laughs> As good as the wizard. Yeah, monks. <laughs> monks. Um, I'm gonna be just fine with my. Why is it? There we go. I was like, it's not allowing me to select these things. Okay. As crashing down and filling the space from the top of these rocks, seems to be some sort of flying creature or bat. It's like swarms of bats coming down at the noise and ruckus that you guys are making. Um. All right. So. Uh, who is not here? Mekai. Ah, yes. Zachary. We'll make that. Those, those will be a... F Every time it's a 15. How does it do that? Uh, Mekai, what'd you roll? Uh, 22. 22s! Anias, what'd you roll? We put uh, it in the roll 13. 20 thing. <laughs> oh, you did. That makes it easier. But it's fun to hear yeah. it. <laughs> what, Zachary, what'd you roll? 14. Cool. <laughs> You know, so someone's listening and not watching. All and right. if I forget, I had it written down. So it's perfect. Exactly. <laughs> perfect. Thank you, guys. Um, all right. So up first, uh, Meikai, you kind of rush over and kind of aid um, Anias there. Uh, can you guys not see the turn order? No. Nope. I can physically see it, but there's nothing on it. Yeah, it's just blank. Yeah, it's blank. And there's nothing on the Twitch side either. Can't yeah, that's weird. Huh. Alright. Well, mine shows. I don't know why y'all do not It's okay. You can just tell us. Yeah. <laughs> when we go. Interesting. Okay. Uh, but yeah, Mekai, it's, it's your go. Um, are there any close to... Ah, Hit? that's what it is. I have to re-add you guys. Because it was a different token. But anyways, uh, what were you saying? Are there any bats close enough to um, swipe at? Uh, can you see them? On your map? Uh, yeah. They're... So they're just hanging out over there. I mean, that's they 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 fill a, a five foot square, so they're just starting to come down from that spot. So you would have to move oh. into into melee range with them. No, I'm just gonna kind of keep guard there until they come closer, and then take a swing. Okay, so you're holding your action? Yeah. Okay. Well, you fix, so just remember, you can't do bonus actions on that. Right. Okay. Just double checking. All right, so you're holding yourself, holding 
down the ground. What are you uh, holding? Just a, a swipe? Uh, yeah, with the the circular blade things. I'll cool. just use those. It's already down here. Perfect. All right. So, Meikai, you are holding your action. Z Do I have two daggers? Wait. D sorry. Did we decide what damage those are? Are they, like, equivalent to daggers? Am I just counting that as yes, a dagger? Yes, they're like a dagger. Okay. Okay. Currently. Just wanted to make sure. Yep. Uh, yes. Uh, okay. Wait. No. No? Okay. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. Math. Okay. It's now the, the, the bat's turn. All right. So they're going to rush in. 5, 10, 15, 20 here. 5, 10, 15, 20. Um, make high. The first one comes into your melee range if you want to swipe at it. Or if you want to hold for the one. There's another swarm that kind of passes you into an ice's range as well. It's up to you. Um... I'm gonna go after whatever one's in front of me. Technically, so, both of them are in front of you, but the one <laughs> directly in front of you is the one in front of my eyes as well. Yeah, the directly in front of me. Okay. Um. Go ahead and roll attack. Uh, let's see, that is not great. Um. Ten. Ten. Before you swing through, and the bats kind of seem to fly around your swipe with your chakra. Unfortunately, don't it's gonna hit. be a, it's gonna be a fun game. <laughs> <laughs> it'll be fun. It'll be real quick. I like it. <laughs> no, you're good. All right. Um, that is your reaction. So, um, the bats are going to. Yeah. So they'll just take a bite attack at each one of you. That is a twenty-two on you, Mekai. And eight on you, Anais. Make high, you take five points of bite damage as they swarm on you as you missed your first time. They kind of swarm over you. This ranger wants to protect you. But it's not here, unfortunately. Um, that is the bat's turn. <laughs> Zachary, you are up. All right. Uh, I will see the swarm coming in on both of them, and I will fire a fire bolt at the first group of them. The Perfect. First I like it. One. Roll me attack. All righty. Here's my spell attack again. Uh, 17 to hit. 17 to hit definitely hits. Go to roll damage. All right. Forget. Just straight d10. Okay. Point the staff, eight points of fire damage. Reminds me of the NFL every single time I hear this. <laughs> what did you say? Eight points of fire damage. Eight points. Nice. nice. Uh, you see about a good third of them just singe up and burn away. Uh, while the other ones kind of kind of start trying to swarm around an Uh is that your turn? Uh I will bonus action cast. Nah, I'm not gonna do that. It's actually not gonna help anybody. So. I'm sorry, Makai's not here. She had bless, so I'll let her roll that to see if she hit. Oh right. Oh yeah. When we come back. Um. So you said you're doing anything else? Uh, I think I'm going to not do anything else. All right. right. No. Wait. Is that a bonus action? I think my blinding light is a action, right? So. Yes, it's an action. Yep. Yeah. I'm done then. Makai. You were blessed. Go ahead and roll me a d4 to see if you hit the bats on your reaction or not. Two. Two. It almost Wait. seems like with the blessing of uh, Solus that your uh, as he casts Firebolt or Firebolt, another bolt glances off your uh, your your chakra and moves it into one of the bats. Go roll me damage. If I can pick up my dice, jeez. Three. Three plus anything? No, it's just three. That's it. Yeah. Dagger is a d4 plus two. I rolled a one plus two. It's a three. Oh, oh okay, 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 okay. Just kidding. <laughs> Sorry. My bad. I was like, no, I'm pretty sure you add something. Like, I nope. did add, Mike, I did add something. Like, back off. <laughs> okay. Cool. <laughs> three points. All right. As another bat 
burns up. It slashes in half and burns away. So I can get back to my damage here. All right, perfect. Uh, math. Are these like little Kessies coming at us? I don't know what a Kessie is, but sure. Uh, it's the bats in Zelda. I might be saying it wrong, but. Jeez. Keys. I call them Kessies. Sure, but there's like <laughs> small ones and they're all swarming in at you guys. All right, uh, Anais, it is your turn. Sacred flame on the one in front of me. Sacred flame in the front in front of you. Uh, <laughs> deck save. Deck save, yeah. Ooh. Doesn't have anything range right yet, because no, okay. No. Oh, that is a, that would be a, that would be a six. <laughs> oh yeah, that failed. All right, go ahead and roll I me damage. The, the damage for it. As for the second time today, you all see this bla a blazing column of white and electric light. Just two. <laughs> Guys, you need to add everything to it. <laughs> all right. Do you want... I could add something. Do no, you I'm want joking, me to I'm add joking, something? I'm joking, I'm joking. Like, Why are y'all rolling so low? Oh, that's right. Kahu's not here. <laughs> we're level three. We're level three. <laughs> we're level three. <laughs> cool. All right, nice. You doing anything else? All right, Meikai, um, it is your turn again at the top of the order. Yeah, so I remember that monks have key points. So <laughs> this time I am going to take a swipe and then do flurry of blows. Question as well, because I was looking over your sheet earlier. So you took Kensai, right? Yeah. So if you attack unarmed, which I think is the same. I get a plus two to armor. Right, but you've been attacking with your weapon. So do you want to attack unarmed instead? And use your art, your weapon to protect yourself to give a boost. Yeah, so it says if you make an unarmed strike as part of the attack action on your turn. So what I've been doing, get out of here. I don't need D and D Beyond. Oh my gosh. Because right now um, it's the same. It's a D four for unarmed, right? Yeah. So I'm so my, I'm saying my plan is I'm gonna go after the dagger and then spend a key point to make two unarmed strikes which then makes my ac to 16. the only Does thing that, that doesn't sense? the only thing that doesn't work with that is that's not the attack action that's flurry of blows well i already took the attack action though you haven't taken it yet no but i will right but you, to get the kensai stuff you have to use unarmed strike not the dagger oh it's okay. the same exact damage right now, so it doesn't matter. I'm just saying, I'm, yeah. I'm trying to just make sure you understand how Kensai works. So yeah. I'm, so it's basically, if you want to use the dagger, you can, but you don't get the plus two. Or what you're doing is using the dagger to protect yourself and unarmed strike. And then you can still do the flurry of blows twice as well. So right now it doesn't matter until like the damage goes up on things. Wait. Monks are confusing. I thought I had a hard time enough with fighter. Uh, I'm just going to throw my thing and punch instead because that's more efficient. You can still hold not on to it and punch it. with the other one. Do you still, but you're not going to get the plus two if you if you don't hold it. Is what I'm oh, saying. that's that's true. So you're kind of using your offhand to hold your Kensai for defense while attacking with your main hand. Yeah. So is that what sure. you want to do? So that way you're AC yeah. 16? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and roll me uh, a attack. Um, monks are fun though, but yeah, I was like reading through. I was like, this is very confusing. Uh, nineteen. Nineteen hits. Go ahead and roll me damage. That's a D four plus two, right? Six. Perfect. Awesome. All right, it's this first swarm. Looks like you guys are taking out most of the bats. There's one or two left in this swarm. Looking rough. Um, are you doing uh, flurry blows with your bonus action? Yeah. Okay. Good roll me. Uh, you can, We'll just do one at a time. We'll do with the first one. Yeah. Um, first one does not hit because that's just a five. Plus and plus. Sec yeah, bless. Oh. Try nine. to get that nine. <laughs> I got a nine. <laughs> Unfortunately, you still miss. <laughs> yeah. And then my other one was a 19. Okay. That Plus one hits. Yeah, that one. Uh, and that is uh, five points. Five points. All right. As you swing through this one, um, 
kind of going straight through the uh, the second bat. Bring that down. All right. This swarm seems to have been taken care of with all of the bats in it. All right. Do anything else on your turn? Nope. Add that back. Boop, boop, boop. All right, so that is now the bat's turn. The bat is going to enter into Anais's space here and seem to swarm around you. Um, they all get caught in my hair every single time. They all get caught in your hair, yep. <laughs> rolls a, It rolls a 14 to hit. No! Which doesn't hit anymore. It doesn't hit me! <laughs> uh, but it is, seems to be swarming around Anais. Uh, Zachary, it's your turn. Uh, does it look like if I target some of the bats, it would hit Anias? Potentially. Hmm. Like, is it one of those things if I went closer, I'd have a better chance of it? Or, like, if I took a melee weapon to it? Or is it just... I'll say if you, if it's a melee, you have a better chance of not hitting her. A ranged spell attack would potentially have a chance of hitting her as well. Hmm. Hmm. Eh, she's tough. I'll risk it. <laughs> I'm aiming for bats. Fringe bats on her. That's what I'm aiming for. Okay. So I'm kind of going off to the side of her, hitting anything that are flying around her. Sure. And you said you're melee? No, I'm firing my fireballs. Fireball, okay. That's fair enough. Way better, so. Uh, that is a 23 to hit. 23. Yep, your aim. And nice, you kind of lean back a little bit as the uh, blast goes past you and hits some of the uh, bats uh, swarm you but not doesn't hit you um, go to roll me damage that is for six fire damage nice job you said six six perfect I like it as uh, some of the bats start burning away and crisping up perfect doing great all right is that your turn yeah, this has been a good spot for me. They're not hitting her, so... <laughs> Anias, uh, you are now sworn with bats. You got uh, Meikai at your side. Zachary assisting with sniper shots from the back. Can I do Sacred Flame on them, or are they too close to me? Are they in my space, or are they next to me? They are in your space. So, I, so how you... do you want to do that? And can you take a step? I mean, yeah, I, well, I guess I took a step yeah, away. I mean, you can take a step I, out. It's not like it's an attack of opportunity because right. I'm not. Yeah, sure. I'll just I'll just take a step back. In. Okay. Deck save. They save. They, they rolled a 19 as they all scatter around this column. And then. They learned. They, they can adapt. They Which direction are you moving? Uh. <laughs> Sorry, my computer's very misbehaving no, right can, now. You can just tell me which direction. Uh, just right there. Okay, so this goes here. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Um, all right. Uh, so is that your turn? Yeah. Perfect. All right, Makai, back to you. Our badass monk. Um, uh, I don't want to use all my key points and all this crap. Um, well, punching was way more efficient than <laughs> using my thing, so, uh, I'll just try to punch again. Okay. Oh, hey, it's a natural 20. Natural 20! Um, <laughs> the... And it's a max damage, six. Six? Nice. Is that doubling... Doubling it as well for the crit. Oh, is it doubled? Twelve. So do you double the dice? So that'd be what four to an eight. Oh, four to plus eight. Two, yeah. So ten. Ten. Nice. You slash through and punch through um, a good portion of these bats. Um, though it does seem uh, not to slash through quite as effectively as you were thinking. Um, but they still look very hurt. All right. Are you doing anything else in your turn? Um. 
Nope, because that's... I just made an unarmed strike, so I still have my AC 16. Yes? Y yes, because you're, okay. yeah, you're using... Because you're holding your weapon for, like, defense. You also have yeah. a bonus action if you just want to use that for an unarmed strike, right? Ant monks um... use... Bonus action is an unarmed strike. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yep. I forgot about that, too. Um. Eight. Think, Twelve. I, think works. I don't know. I want to play a monk next time so I understand him because I've never played one. <laughs> Twelve. Twelve. Uh, you kind of come around with a... bless uh, in there? Yeah, I just... I added okay. bless. With a... Twelve with bless. A backswinged uh, kick and you just were able to hit. Twelve seems to be there, you see. Five. Five points of damage. All right. They are looking rough. All right. Is that your turn? Yeah. All right. They are now going to turn to you as you're the latest attacker and swarm into your space. Does a 11 hit? No. Perfect. You're able to kind of like dodge and weave between them. Uh, Zachary, it's your go. Uh, so, since they're looking weak, I'm gonna be like, alright, try this time, and I'm gonna try to do the twist thing that I tried, that I hit the mannequin and burned it up and made a big mess in the, the palace. <laughs> so I'm trying it here. <laughs> Now's the time. Cool. That is a 17 to hit. 17 hits? The twist worked. And you are casting a spell? Yep, five, seven fire damage. A nice. What's your AC? What's my AC? 17. Mm -hmm. 17. Okay. Um, I'll say it just barely doesn't hit her as well. Oh, no, that's right. I'm sorry. It's not even in my <laughs> sorry. space anymore. Wrong one. Wrong one. Wrong one. Wrong one. Wrong uh, one. Meikai, what's your AC? 16. 16? Okay. Uh... Well, I was going to give it plus two. So you also just barely don't get hit as well. I was going to say, I'll give them plus two cover within the within the bats. All right. Uh, roll me damage. Seven. Seven. Fire. As this time, you kind of pop, 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 almost uh, blast around them. twist. Them and twist. The twist move, yeah. A twist move. As uh, Meikai, you kind of duck your head and it swings around and catches the last bat around you. It's just, they all start burning like ash. <laughs> around you and you guys are out of initiative <laughs> everything seems to go quiet you all listen for more bats or more sounds um but not um okay cool so I'll, I'll look into it a little more lit saying uh when he looked it up that your monk weapon because it's a monk weapon still counts with kensai so it doesn't have to be an arm so i'll we'll continue to look at it right now it doesn't matter mechanically <laughs> Because yeah. it's the same exact numbers. But for now, we'll say you're, you can definitely use your weapon for the main attack. Mm -hmm. So, you guys are out of combat. What are you guys room. doing? Let's go in the room. Enough. Yeah. Um, there seems to be a puppy that I need to listen to. Sure. You see Makai kind of taking a second to... Catch her breath and prepare herself. Um, you guys continue some forward. Get ash out of her hair. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Um, I can't zoom in on this. Not. Do you want to peek inside? Uh, and this I... this way? No, the door I opened this way. Oh, I mean, yeah, we could peek inside. I was going to say, this looks like we could just explore this kind of quick while she's gone. But Yeah, it's pretty quick sure. if you guys want to go in. Sure. We'll can check scout there. out this place gonna, really fast. I'm gonna, I'm gonna prop the door open just in case it like wants to lock on itself. Did you already Oh that's right, you cast the bless on this one. That's right. Okay. Yeah. So I'll prop it open so that it won't lock on itself. Okay. And then I'll walk over. Alright. We can like look at this really fast. What do you check in? Places. So if you go um, all the way What in, is this? You guys walk into a, another corner. This seems to be more of a living area living space as you go in the first and you can see ahead there seems to be like an anvil and blacksmithing area with a whole bunch of like debris set um do you walk in and check it out yeah Ish. still keeping an eye out i think you said that 
the the score just stays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just adding it just in case, <laughs> but yes. Yeah, I will let you know if I need a, a, a another roll per se. Yeah. Um. Yeah, you guys can look around and again, it seems to be like this place was left on a like in a, in a retreat. Like there's a few items left off to the the side, but everything seems to have just been left almost like it was in the middle of working and living and then just left where it was. Um, all of these anvils are inert. And you can see inert red crystals on each one of them. Very similar to the uh, elemental gems you've seen around as well. Um, can I grab some of those? They seem to be inset with the, the anvil. I mean, if you want to maybe attempt oh, like there. it, it'd be a very hard check to try and pry it from the anvil. Okay. Uh, is there anything interesting, though, for like kind of digging around for a second or is there nothing hey, you guys give me an investigation check if you want uh, uh, sure guidance. on yourself or correct yeah okay natural 20 plus <gasps> a bunch so and i got 21 nice it's 25 for me make how you're still gotta catch your breath you guys go ahead it's fine um <laughs> you kids run along yeah. yeah i'm old you guys are all like going through the debris and checking through the anvils um, Zachary, you end up finding, um, a nice, as you go through, you find, um, a pile of very nice, rare looking ore stones that seem similar to some of the steel that, ore that you guys saw at the quarry, but way nicer. It has this additional, like, silver glow that your armor does. Um, hmm. Zachary, you find an old tankard sitting up by one of the anvils and a lock attached with a key. Tankard and a lock? Like a tankard, like a, you drink out of a tankard and a mm -hmm. lock and key. It's on it or just separate? Um, the key looked like it was, it fell behind the anvil. Okay. Like separate. But the, the are the is the lock on the tanker? That's what I'm asking. Oh no, 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 they're separate. Okay. Yeah. Uh, sure. I'll look at. Does it look nice? Is it fancy? You look at both of them, and they both look very ornate, and don't seem to have degraded like all this other wood and items around you. It definitely seems like it's kept its niceties over time. And you get the feeling as you guys start exploring through this place, it, however long it's been here, it's it's been a long time. This place is degrading, and decrepit, and unexplored, but these seem okay. very nice and clean. Interesting. I keep the ore. I will pocket these two items as well. <laughs> yeah. Uh, as you Throw go to them grab them. You, your fingers kind of tingle just with a little bit of arcane recognition. Cool. All right. You pocket them? I'm going to pocket them for now. All right. You guys going down the other hallway? Yeah, we can look in there really fast. Cool. And nice. Uh, you're kind of like, cool, this place is really neat. And just as you go to look into this other room, you see darkened blood stain on the tile. As you walk into this room and you look up and can see in the darkened room, but Zachary continues forward with his staff and brightens it. There seems to be six beds in here. And on on four of them are skeletons marked with old dried up blood that seems to be pooled on these beds. And a broken uh, chest right there at the uh, corner as you walk in. Do they look like dwarven skeletons? Like they're smaller. Give me a medicine check. Are they as tall as I am? <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, six. Party. Is anyone else rolling? Now I'll look around this room too. What do you want me to do? Are you guys investigation? If if investigation, if you want to look around the room, if you're trying to figure out. If these are dwarves or not, you can do medicine. Um, 
Yeah, I'm gonna just look around the room and okay. bless my or guidance myself. Looks like it's just fine. <laughs> um, go ahead and roll. Um, so nice. You're not quite sure. It's short, like the other dwarves, and it seems to fit something similar. Natural twenty. No joke. Back to back natural twenties. Got my guidance for 26 total nice. for this oh one. Oh man, Anias and Zach are just like captaining this ship today. Oh my <laughs> goodness. Like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I've just followed you guys. This is I'm my week child. for 20s, guys. This is my yeah. week for 20s. For some reason, this is my week. It's absolutely insane how many natural 20s we've gotten. This is wild. Anias, you're kind of, you're, the breath is sucked out of you is the imagery of death and the bodies just are too jarring to you. Um, I'm gonna comfort her. Zachary, oh, you're God. you're a little bit more rational in the spot and looking, and you you find a bag underneath one of these beds. You take the bag, um, and combing through another chest in the back, you find three vials of potions. A bag and three potions? Yep. Do these have any particular tingle to them as well? Or the bag, at least? Do you open the bag? Oh, does it feel like it has something in it? Kind of feels like it is. Okay. I'll pour it out onto the ground just to see what comes out. Yeah, as you turn it over and just... <laughs> as if more stuff that should have fit in this bag... 20 oh, wow. gold pieces, 11 silver, another vial, and a note flutters to the ground. 20 gold pieces, how much silver? 11 silver. Nice jobs. <laughs> okay. What were the other things? <laughs> As he just did more magic and, pu and pulled all this out of his hat. Um, <laughs> and one, another potion. So now you have four vials of potions. And a, okay. no and a, a letter note seems to fall to the ground. Like a scroll. Oh, wow. Uh, that's a lot. You... I'll throw all the gold and silver back into the bag. <laughs> you look in the is bag, it, wait, it's, no. it's like... Real quick. Real quick, is it old gold, like the old dwarven coin that I have? Is you it take, like that? You take a look at it, and it's very fine, pure gold. It has the face of a dwarven king on it. Okay. Exactly like the other ones. And then... You're going for my note? <laughs> I was just going to pick up the note since he was gathering coins. Yeah, I was going to pick up the note last and read that, but you can grab it. And... As you're dropping in the gold, you can look down and see the bottom of the bag and then just, just disappear like your wristwatch. Oh my goodness, this is cool. What? You found money? I found a bag that sucks in stuff. Uh, I'll put my hand in the bag and just see if I can find the gold inside of it. Your hand kind of disappears, and you think about the gold, and then you can you have a handful of gold. Oh man, this is crazy, guys! <laughs> <laughs> the most um, common D and D item, and I am amazed. <laughs> wow, this is so cool! <laughs> I'm a um, kid who hasn't had it. magic items. Come on! <laughs> I love it. I love it. Anais uh, goes like. And she takes out the ore that was, like, weighing down her backpack because she points to the thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. So, the bag doesn't let me seem write any down. heavier. Still seems full, I... but, yeah. Yay! Nice. Bag of holding. Yeah. I've had one on me this whole time, guys. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, just kidding. The uh, bag of gold. How, how much ore did you put in there? I don't know how much I found. Uh, we can say, because you only picked up enough for like your backpack, right? I'll say 10 pounds worth. 10 pounds of dwarf ore? Yeah, I'll say dwarf steel ore. Okay. Dwarven. <laughs> okay. Disadvantage on your next roll. <laughs> <laughs> hey, can I just uh, in the bag? <laughs> what What does the note say? Is it in Dwarven? I'm kind of assuming it's probably in Dwarven. I have to hand it to Zach anyway. <laughs> Hard to read. She signs you can read Dwarven, right? Yeah, I can read it. Hand him it. You read it and it says, I'm sorry, my love. 
I hope we will uh, meet again in the afterlife. And it's written to Marthun. Marthun. Ben. Sorry, I can't even read my own handwriting. Marthun. Oh, this is sad. It seems like he expected he was going to die. Oh. She just points to the beds with the pools of blood. This looks dramatic, though, and sudden. This doesn't look like it was... Can I go inspect the skeletons? See, you can give me a medicine check. <laughs> Make I just like, like okay, they're dead. Caught my breath. With the roll. <laughs> yeah, they're dead. I think. <laughs> oh. Uh, that's a dirty 20, so... Dirty 20. Based my medicine on... isn't that great, but... Yeah, based on the statues you've seen, you get the feeling these are definitely dwarven skeletons. Uh-huh. As you're looking... There seems to be broken ribs or places where they seem to have been stabbed in three different, like, attacks. Seems creature-esque to you. Or some sort of weapon that has three prongs. Yeah. I'll point it out to them and just kind of, like, just describe. So it was just probably... A bear. This was, yeah, not... Is there what any tracks sudden, yeah. or anything of anything like uh, blood let me look. stepped in? I'm gonna... I mean, I'll look around too, but yeah. Um, investigation, I'm guessing. Either perception or investigation. I'll, I'll allow both for this one. Got it. <laughs> uh, that's also a dirty twenty with perception. You look around. There doesn't seem Stop to be any it. sort of tracks. No joke. Uh, Rachel, Three burn, it. burn the dice. Burn it. This is a different dice. It's terrifying. It's Mark, you guys. I'd have to burn Mark. I know. I said burn it. <laughs> burn him. Before Mike. Golly, dude, we're doing it. We're gonna next. Okay, next week we're starting up a charity run of natural twenties. We're gonna donate five dollars for every natural twenty. That's Golly. ridiculous. Jeez. Three in a row. Holy Give cow. Map those dice. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm worried about the rest of this session if I, I keep know, doing right? this twice now. No, no, keep doing it because I keep failing a lot of my stuff. Oh lately. man. Okay. All right. Anyways, back to you, DM. <laughs> Doesn't seem to be any sort of tracks. The blood drips down onto the ground, but does not seem to continue anywhere else. There doesn't seem to be any footprints or anything. Granted, you also get the idea it's a long time ago. Dust has settled. It's very hard to find anything. But it doesn't seem to be any tracks or anything that points to something that did this besides the 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 uh, position or the the chipping away at the skeletons and, and kind of the blanking out the how, the condition they're in. <laughs> Sorry. Their decay. I mean, they're the decayed body and their skeletons now, but the the condition they're in by ba being like certain bones are oh. broken, as if like oh. a three pronged attack. Yeah. Does it look more like a drag through or like a stab? Mostly a stab, maybe a few like twist, but mainly a okay. stab. No indications of anything that went on the ceiling either, like ceiling crawlers. You guys can see a few splatters of blood, but. That's it. Nothing like that... it shot up there, or like just it... like yeah, just natural splatter blood. Okay, yeah, um, like an anime, like an anime. Yeah, <laughs> this is I creepy. Yeah, it's definitely jarring from everything else that you've seen here. Should and we, I like, say, a, the room? say say a prayer for them or something? Is that what people do? Nah, I'm not a priest. Well, you seem very religious. I mean, is that are... a. I can. Me? Religious? I can... You're all, like. Yeah. You just seem more. of that. Spiritual. Uh, I mean, Anias is the cleric, so. Really, but I don't want to make her come in here. Yeah. I'll just say a prayer in Infernal really quick and just go on like a. pass in peace kind of thing. Was there a chest you said in here, too? It was like a broken chest. Um, we, it's a few fabrics and things. And that's where you found uh, one of the potions. Okay, sounds yep. good. 
Uh, I'll just, like, as I'm walking out, just study the potions and see if I can pick up anything about them. Yeah, three of them look extremely familiar to you. They're potions of healing. Um, okay. The last one give me an intelligence check. Any proficiency or anything? Are you proficient in herbology? No. Nope, potions? But no. I will guidance myself as I study this thing over. No. <laughs> no. No joke, that's four straight. That's insane. You're kicked well, out of another the one just Everyone here thinks you're a liar. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Well, take a picture if you don't believe. Zach I think calling you a truther. Zachary. <laughs> you... <laughs> I love that one. Zachary's staff just cracks and breaks and explodes. 24 for that. Golly. He, he ascends three levels. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mike. That's I'm wild. sorry. I, I'm just I'm glad very you're not sorry. doing this in combat right now, but golly. <laughs> well, I don't even know what the question was. What, what were you doing now? What potion is this? <laughs> huh? Oh, what potion? What potion is this? Uh, you've seen this like plenty of times. Like, you know. Like, you know it's a potion of climbing. Yeah, like 100%. Potion of climbing. <laughs> okay. It's like silver with a swirling bits of like metallic ore in it okay wow <laughs> god uh, <laughs> as i walk out i'll hand each of them a potion of healing okay oh regular is this just like straight 2d4 plus yeah. two yeah. Okay. these are the ultimate healing that will heal you beyond your wildest dreams <laughs> guys i don't know what it is but i feel weird in this place like Everything's just connecting in my head around <laughs> here. You're just really good. I'm still hoping that Bri and Kahu are okay. Yeah, I wonder if Kahu's helping me or something. <laughs> Could be. Just feel that connection. Whatever he's doing. Keep it up, bro. Yeah. <laughs> You guys notice Anais has walked out of the room. Yeah, I'll get up to her and hand her the potion. Here you go. Okay, sorry. But this my computer is behaving horrifically. It's freezing oh, my no. Discord probably every 30 minutes. Do you wanna re do you wanna restart real quick? I I think I'd have to restart my probably till break because okay. I'd have to restart my entire computer. Yeah. I think it's oh. really bad right now. We yeah. can go ahead and take an early break um, because I was gonna say basically when you go through that orb door, we'll probably take a break. But okay, uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I yeah, I don't know why it's never done it this bad okay. before. But um, yeah, is there anything else you guys want to do real quick before we go to break? Mm, no, I'll just pat Anias on the shoulder when I give her the potion afterwards. So. Yeah, okay, let's just do anything with. I'm just gonna go right now if you guys don't mind. To... Yeah. Because it's yeah. going to take me forever to restart this. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, go ahead. All right, guys. We're going to go ahead and take a quick break. We'll be right back uh, as we uh, as we come back to Fates United after this in about eight minutes, hopefully with everything corrected and stuff. So bear with us, um, and we'll see you guys in a bit. All right. <laughs> I'm Zachary now. And Zachary. <laughs>
Thank you
wrong one. <laughs> Hello! Well, everybody, we are back to uh, enjoy our second half of this edition of Expedition Fates United. Sundavir, the shadow, is messing with many technical difficulties trying to stop the Chosens <laughs> from continuing forward, but the Chosens will not allow it! We shall no. fight on and continue forward with our natural 20s! Huzzah. Huzzah! <laughs> <laughs> all right um also lit i think it's hilarious that you still had it on when you went through the drive through beautiful <laughs> all right as we jump back into fates united you guys found a plethora of items that seem to be the former belongings of whatever dwarves lived here <laughs> guarded this place as you take it with you you continue to explore on the door to go forward is propped open by something that Zach used. Let's just say like a chest or rock or something. But it wasn't trying to shut anyway. Um, are you guys yeah. pressing on forward? Yeah. I'm just going to check on Anias real quick because she seemed yeah, upset. You okay? <laughs> and you're muted by the way so make sure you talk with your hands. So like... Plus she's Oh, there you go. There we go. Yeah. Huh? You're good. You doing okay? Anias? You just seemed like you were okay? upset by the room. I feel like Mark is just talking and I can't hear him. Oh, you can't hear him? <laughs> no! Oh, no. Zachary was asking if you're okay. You guys can yeah. hear him? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Oh, boy. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> Okay. Soon to be go away. To go away, soon oh, to be Well, is my computer's great. finally done updating, so. All right. uh, why don't you just not talk to Anais for a second? Sure. And uh, <laughs> you just do your thing, and I'll be yeah. there in a second. And Anais just kind of yeah. nods yes, but you see her kind of stay silent within herself, and she walks forward with Meikai, and as you guys push forward, as Rachel's getting corrected. Uh, do you guys look down this hallway? And I'm um, assuming that the, the checks are still going on for traps and everything. Um, yeah. yeah. It yes. seems, from what you are picking up so far, that this seems to be where the dwarves lived. So there doesn't seem to be too many traps or anything here, per se. Um, at least it's just the idea that you're getting on so far. Um, as you look down and cast your staff down this way, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Okay, so you can see the whole way. You can see the hallway going forward, a small hallway that juts to the left, um, and another door that goes forward. Uh, we'll say that these doors are open, though. I'll, I'll go down first this time, just to s keep sneaking down. And I also keep forgetting my accent, so it's fine. <laughs> um, it's a secret. But I'll go... I'll go forward and kind of like peek down over here. Okay. Bring up the map a little bit so everyone can see. As you walk forward, you can see now this hallway leads to yet another. Ah, I used the wrong one. Reveal. Another hallway that has that pulsating red orb. Okay. That locking mechanism um, in front of it. I'll point, just kind of point it out as I pass, and then, because I know the other two are going to come up, and then I'll go through this door as well, and checking, more just checking and stuff. Sure. Yeah, again, everything okay. seems fine, though these doors were open when you got to them, mm -hmm. and you can immediately see another two skeletons that lie here in front of another door, this time with a larger pulsating blue orb. Oh. That's pulsating a lot slower. Zach, Anias, um, and I'll kind of like point it out. As you look to the rest of this room, this room seems to be some sort of staging gathering area. It's it's hard to really pick up on. There's another door at the other end, and there's one statue of like a dwarven looks like royalty. But there seems to also be three.
circular discs that are made of metal and stone and this tubing that all three seem to be destroyed and broken seem to be very very advanced technology mage technology kind of similar to what you guys have seen going on with the airships or some of these gems all throughout but way more advanced way more you know well made than you've ever come across before mm -hmm. does the statue remind me of depictions of malver it does at all it does okay I definitely mm. notice a royal king uh kind of I forget what they're called not tiara but crown upon his head with uh, two like um rectangles that symbolize his kingship and royalty here hmm up to this thing and like take out my little sketch pad thing and kind of just like copy and and wave Zach over too so I can see it better. Sure. Yeah, I'll just be in the room kind of illuminating everything. I'm sure Anias is checking out this like dwarf statue thing too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm very involved, totally. Yeah. <laughs> just <laughs> doing that. It's almost ready. I mean, it's it's it's, here, it's, Mark. it's par for the course as well. Anias is very very much you said this before like intrigued with the artwork and the aesthetics and looking yeah. around so, yeah i can definitely, definitely see how you're in in a way it's strange because you're so preoccupied with this but you all of a sudden have this moment to think you're literally walking in the footsteps of your father this is what he used to do and you, you're almost understanding now for the first time this excitement, this adrenaline rush of exploring and finding something new that has never been explored. That he's always talked about, but you never quite understood. That you're fascinated and drawn into this this moment. Yeah, um, for sure. Hey, Kai, what else were you saying? Um, so I ask if Zach can come closer to provide light so I can kind of like sketch out what I'm seeing on the floor here, like symbols. And seeing if he... Um, recognizes any of them because i probably don't at all if it's you sure, can give me take a, a look arcana or intelligence check uh okay guidance 15 that's not terrible what'd you roll the intelligence 15 or, intelligence or arcana? oh i rolled uh Oh, yeah, they're the same role, so 15. Which, which one do you want to use? Which one are you trying uh, to... Intelligence. intelligence okay. I got a 22 Arcana. My 20 streak is over, guys. Oh, womp well, womp. for now. <laughs> um, hey, Kai, it's not resembling anything you've seen before, though it does parallel with some of the tubing that you've seen before and this the way things have been set up before, but... Again, like an archaic, way more advanced version of some of the technology you've seen on the airships and stuff like that. Very, like, metal and arcane crystals combining to do something. Zachary, same thing with you. You're having a hard time understanding this at first. It's broken apart. There's no real runes on this. But as you start to kind of cast your staff under and take a look at it, you can see that <laughs> that um, it does make you think back to potentially in like a very abstract way um, the teleport portals that connect like the Centaurium and New Organia that you guys use. This seems way more advanced and way more intricate than just an arcane rune circle. Like they were transporting or teleporting or something. These are weird. I wonder if maybe these could have been used to because we're not seeing any tracks necessarily. Maybe these were used for infiltration or something. They, they, do they look like they were built here or does they it look do. like it's kind of hastily they, set up? No, it looks like it was built into the ground here as part of... Okay. But... Working any so better, Rage? Is... Can you we'll hear me? We'll see. Can All you I can hear, me, hear you now. 
Hey! Don't sound so excited. <laughs> well, it was like, I was hearing Mark, and I was like, yeah, okay, we got this. Then the Discord froze again! Yeah, I was like, ugh. Oh, just, no. Like, I could see it rotating. I was like, uh-oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Maybe, may I think it's okay. We'll see. We'll go with it. But hi. But hi, everyone! Welcome uh, back. I can try and be checked back in now. Good. So right. they found a uh, super advanced mage arcana technology esque circular device it's all smashed into to the ground it does seem like it's built into the ground here it doesn't look like it was added but it seems to be possibly abstractly related to something teleport wise it reminds zach of the teleportation circles that connect organia and centurion ish and you guys also They're did notice broken the two bodies over here by the blue crystal that seem to be like guards you can you can recognize armor now. They're both wearing smoldering armor and have weapons in there. Those Copying are completely this. smashed. Smashed. Mm. The things. Skeletons. No, the pods are like completely yes. smashed and on his. Okay. This one is has a few pieces that are still more in, intact versus the other two. The other two seem completely destroyed, but this one is very much destroyed and unsave salvageable at any means okay well zach will go over and look at this door there the one of the blue crystal no the other one here okay this one seems to unlock perfectly fine are you trying to open it yeah i'll kind of slowly push it open okay you slowly push it open and creaking open you can see into this room Interesting. Any still looking for traps, of course, but I'll creep forward. Yeah, again, it's I'll be right behind him. Nothing's catching your eye at all. Alright. Creep um, forward to be able to see, I guess, down these two. Yeah, you get to a little T intersection and you can see the red orb on one side, like the back end of the door where you guys were could have came through. And you see another red orb here, but this time with a glowing green crystal as well. More crystals. This one's green. Yeah. Well, I'm wondering if we've seen red, blue, and now green. Your magic seemed to activate the red one. I'm wondering if these colors correspond with us in some way, or if it's just coincidence. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna try something. At the green one, I'm going to shoot my fire bolt and just see if it seems like it requires a ton more energy or like sure. try to gauge how much energy it just seems to want. It's going to scoot over a little bit until we get this corrected. Ah, so I'm not going to move any of the cameras or anything. There we go. There we go. All right. So uh, you cast fire bolt, um, Rachel, <laughs> and um, it goes around the orb and seems to disapparate, and you can see just a small spark go away, even less so than the red one. Okay. I'm then going to sneak over to this room and shoot at the blue one and see how that one This looks. one doesn't even seem to have any effect. Hmm. Do you examine it closer? Uh... Yeah, I'll go up to it and I'll examine it. If I get my people behind me. Yeah. Sure. I'll look at it. Call them back over. Any markings? Yeah. You, yeah. You do see symbols of the sky affinity. And elementals talk what the describe wind and storm. Alright. Well, I'd ask Anias, but she seems a bit unresponsive right now. <laughs> right. Um, yeah. I was going to say, uh, do you want us to Jaeger her or wait? I can tell her to just come up here because hers is not working. So. Yeah. Oh, Mike. Wait, just uh, come up here. The... Oh, now it's updated. We're good. What's up? We're good. Oh. No, we're good. It fixed itself.
Um, yeah, so at the moment, you get the feeling like it's definitely a Nias related, possibly. Sky Chosen. Mm -hmm. Elemental, definitely in, in, in thing. And something about the green crystal clicks in with this one. So in the meanwhile, do you go back and check the other one? Sure, I will come over to the... Like, oh, look, an eye is here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's fix some cameras real quick. Sorry, Mike. All good. I'm really, I am so sorry. I, I would have known. It's okay. It's all good. Oh, I don't know Poor why this computer. is that. It's super easy to fix. It's all good. Uh, hey, Discord. Why did, uh, why'd you log me out? <laughs> wow, wow. Is, is Discord hating me? Oh, you're so much I think it's... <laughs> Discord hates <laughs> what? me. What? It's not. It's not hating you. <laughs> All right. You can you even heard what's going on? Oh. You can hear. Okay. No. No. I can hear. I can hear now. Okay. I think you meant earlier. Like, did you hear what's going All on? All right. Yeah, we're at a crystal that seems to be sky affinity. Well, pump some of your magic into this. Yeah. It seems to be very much storm, sky, air related, elemental, more so than the red ones did. Red ones seemed very generic this seems definitely more specific uh here where are we even okay um yeah i mean i can i can cast like a guiding bolt into it with like you attempt it or well if we're gonna do sky affinity let's go all the way um let's do like a I know you're very oh, frazzled right now. Huh? I know you're very frazzled right now. So, do you want yes. a slight help <laughs> hint? Yeah, can you just tell me what to do right now? <laughs> uh, I know you have something storm related. <laughs> you have two different spells that are storm related in your first level slots. Yeah. The lightning crackles a little bit and you feel inspired. You feel guided okay. by well, your kind uh, eyes. Yeah. It's like I've been here this whole time and I know what's happening. Um, so, yeah, I mean... Huh? Oh, thank you. Um, so the only thing I have against it, the um, thunder wave is it's really loud. So I guess I'll, like, can I cast fog cloud at it? You certainly can, if you want. Uh... Just kind of inside it. You try and cast Fog Cloud? Mm hmm. Alright, you guys see her grab her cat eye and pray to the Storm Lord and cast out her hands. From the cat eye, you can see this growing cloud that begins to fill the room around Ooh. you, obscuring your vision. And in a moment, it gives you this weird reprieve from the heat as you can feel just the moisture in the clouds give you a little bit of repeat reprieve before <laughs> circling into this orb the fog gets absorbed and begins to glow bright and blue and seems to charge it so please go ahead and uh, mark one of your spell slots gone but it does seem to unlock this door good job and <laughs> yeah you're so smart I'm gonna lean in a little more so you're kind of cut off. Oh, of <laughs> I will have to say though. Can you, can you scoot your chair? I mean, I'm over. <laughs> Based on uh, Anais's like demeanor, what she was looking, it was probably gonna be a very easy check for her to know what to do. So it's not much out of Thank character. You. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, but the door uh, seems to open, and you all are able to look down and see. Another one of these weird contraptions, though this time it's red, but it's broken on the bottom of the ground. And you guys can go into the room if you want. Reminds me of that creepy hallway before. Look for falling walls. Yeah. Um. Anais, do you want to go first since you opened it, or do you want one of us to, or me? I guess. Um. Anais will just nod and go forward. Guidance. <laughs> Give me an investigation um, check for traps. Sure. With guys. Brought my dice tray. Yeah, good job. <laughs> oh, well. 
six. Natural twenty. No, just kidding. No. Uh. I thought maybe being in the aura of Zachary would be like a paladin and just give it to you. No. <laughs> I think he's he's like taking more from me. That's fair. Probably. Yeah, I absorb. Oh, yeah. I'm like the stones in this place. Yeah. Oh, um. Twenties. I got to actually hold on. A six. I got ten. Ten. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. This hallway seems pretty clear. Um. Though you get the idea that be very careful stepping <clears throat> over that device. Looks like cut glass and and metal that could potentially carve up your feet if you're not careful. Okay, oh, so I'll, like, point it out. Easily point it out. Very easy. I'm not even going to make you guys roll for this one because you saw it. So. Um, okay, okay. But, yeah, you walk in and you can see um, some large chests and a few uh, crates as well in here. Okay. Is this? You said this thing was glowing red? The circle thing? It, it wasn't glowing red. It was just... It's similar to the other ones, just red in... Color. Oh, okay. But it's the same That's exact broken. thing. Yeah. Okay. Do I see any differences though? Like discernible why it would be a different color or different symbols? You look and give me investigation to see how much is salvageable that you could see. Good. Do good. Do good. You can watch me throw a point. That it's legit. Yeah, I'll check you guys. That 20. That's a 1 there, 14 there, so 17. Oh. It's enough that you can put two pieces together and see enough dwarvish words that speak of a mine. Okay. A mine that maybe out. this is some sort of teleportation device or something that reacted to something down in the mine that you guys saw earlier. Okay. Maybe to the mine. Okay. Well, what device? I missed that whole thing. There's you like a teleportation. Little... There's like three yeah. of them in this other room, and then there's this one. That's... There's teleportation. They yeah. seem to have some sort of teleportation connection. Oh, okay. Yeah, so they there's seem this to be one, and then this very one. Very advanced technology that reminds you of the airships that you've seen, or some of the crystals of the lights, or the elemental gems that of the one. anvils, and of the tubing that you've seen here, the crystal tubes that kind of power with the arcane magic, but. Mm -hmm far beyond anything you've seen precious metals involved the delicacy of it it's insanely beyond anything the three of you guys have seen in modern day technology it's impressive okay cool i mean i'll look through some of the chests cool um i won't even make you guys roll for these you uh cumulatively you guys find 250 gold oh, i'm rich again <laughs> 100 silver. These are, again, make sure to separate these from regular stuff. These are no. old dwarvish made coins. So mm -hmm. just want to put that out there. Um, okay. That might or might not make a difference when you go to, you know, use it or check in with someone. Yes. Um, and two um dwarvish statues one of the king malver and one of the same deloy affinity that you saw earlier they seem to be very very well made carved out of a what seems to be ore with veins of kahuranji stone going throughout it so very similar to jade but not quite Okay. Cold silver shoes. Sorry, rain like yelling at me right now. It's totally fine. It's okay. <laughs> Do you need to go? No, he's fine. I'm gonna ignore him. <laughs> Don't ignore me! Loud. Don't ignore me! That's fine. I, we can barely hear it. You're good. Um, but that's... gold, hundred silver, two statues. Mm -hmm. Two statues. That's what I hear properly. But they have like a Kaharung J ish like stone. Like a vein of stone that goes through the ore that this is made out of. Yes. Okay. Perfect. But yeah, that's about all you can see in here. This seems to be some sort of uh vault. Treasure vault. 
precious item all vault uh if you wanted to there are more stores of ore and precious metal here if you guys wanted to grab some more ore to take back with you you guys want me to put all the coins in my bag keep them all together yeah that's that's probably yeah um okay. help load up these are exactly the other ones discord hates us tonight <laughs> Oh, we are cursed. Seriously. <laughs> this is so bad tonight. It's all right. Sorry, guys. So I'll put those all in my inventory. Okay. Perfect. Um, anybody, anybody examine the skeletons out there? Yeah, because I already I did that in the other one, so. Okay. Determine cause of death. Um, this seems very similar, just like the other ones. There's blood, oh, okay. blood stains. They're though this one. They're wearing their armor, and red cape it seems to be intact. Though, even through this armor, there are three puncture wounds cracking into their wow. chests. Well, I was going to take it, but never mind. Um, can I look at those statues? Do they look like they're religious, or like they have a purpose, or yeah. they're just decoration? They seem, one seems <laughs> decoration-like for King Malver. He's the king of this, um, the last king of the dwarf mountain here. So he's the same face that's on the golden coins. Mm -hmm. The Deloy one seems to be an image of the affinity, or their version of it. Possibly could have a little bit more of a religious connotation to it. Though again, it's very decorational and just ornate in style. Okay. Doesn't seem to hold any other function, though. That's what you're asking. Um, okay. For sake of your pulling everything, Makai found another potion of climbing, another healing potion, and six gold on the two guards. So what was it? Sorry. Potion um, of climbing. One more potion of climbing, one more healing potion, and six gold. Okay. I'll just throw the gold in there. She can keep the other stuff. Right. I agree with Let's Comment. Right? <laughs> Mark, you did. I'm sorry, everybody. <laughs> I've shaken the whole universe to its core tonight. The affinity must convene. This, sh this cannot continue to happen. <laughs> the D&D world is being split at its seams. <laughs> All right. uh, okay. Well, What's if this room's theme? empty, right? Seems to be pretty much all you can see here. Again, more descriptions of history. Maybe former kings, former timelines of the dwarves. Uh, different battles they've won or events that have happened on the walls and kind of descriptions. And it's almost like a living history as you go through it. Interesting. Um, but I'm kind of ta probably taking notes a little yeah. bit. For Bri. <laughs> but you make it back... Um, that's about all you feel like you can explore in this room. And you make it back to the T intersection, and there's the green gem that's glowing, and the red one. You say I made a connection about that? It seemed to be some sort of... Something clicked, something... Now that you know how this works, you want to go back and check it again, kind of... All right, I will head over there. <laughs> I don't know where you're going. With the group to this nope. door to take a look. Oh. Oh, Zach suddenly teleported. Ah! Talison <laughs> felt a rising competitor and has struck curses back at the dice. <laughs> I mean, it was it? One, I just looked at one, one in 160,000 chance to roll four natural 20s in a row. Oh. Yeah, I he just shows me a calculator with 160,000. He's like, huh? Like, That's what great. is that supposed to mean? <laughs> I totally Rachel, can see Talison just sitting boy. there just clapping. Mm -hmm. Just very good. That's all right. mm -hmm. Go clap. The, the patron <laughs> blessed you for tonight. <laughs> Um, All right. Yes. How are we going to? I Let don't me look have... at this. Actually, I do have magic. I'm gonna look at it. See what I connect. You start looking at the imagery on this one, and something just reminds you of Makai's strikes. On it the imagery of 
powerful warriors and they're they're more pitchers around this that have glowing fists that seem to shatter do you like magic punch this there also uh. seems to be a warning of do not enter oh wait it says don't enter death beyond this door and you can see a blood stain there's death beyond the door. Do you want to go in here? <laughs> this green gem seems a lot more newer than the red one. Hmm. It may That's be funny. trapping something inside here. Seems new. Should we sort of back around and go through that other door that we didn't go through on the right side? Or the right side? Um... She signs it. I think no matter what, we'll probably need to go through that. I door. think we need to go through this door no matter what. Oh, I'm gonna put my step. hand on it and just like try to get a sense from Solus if this is the direction that she me, wants uh, me to go in. Give me a charisma check. Did you say you're not spiritual? <laughs> I didn't. I said religious. Religious. Spiritual, spiritual and religious are different. <laughs> Don't let a for door tell you what to same. do. <laughs> I'm going to guidance myself as I pray for Solus's divine. You didn't have a chance to react yet. I'm just kidding. Go ahead. You're fine. <laughs> oh, it's not a 20. It's not a 20. Just... So, but... yeah, Charisma, you said? Charisma? Charisma. All right, that's 24. You attempt to connect to this and pray. And you just get a feeling of this isn't first off there's you don't feel that connection like there's something you can do to the gem but you do feel an emanating warmth flow through you that does give you a confirmation i think solace wants me to go through this door for us to go through this door. Now he's just like nods like she didn't even need to pray. Like she's like, yeah, we're, we need to go through this door. So you said there's a red like, one too here, right? crazy. I don't understand it. <laughs> Make I just shrugs. Okay. Okay, kids. <laughs> there's a red stone here too. There is a red These stone. Days. Back in my day. Um. Well, which one do I hit? The green or the, the green red? one? The green one. I'll hit the red one. Should I use my spell for it? Yeah, whatever magic stuff you can add into it. Like glowy fists or something. Uh, okay. I'll do Searing Smite then on it. And I'll time Bless at the same time. And I'll keep, I'll be ready for something to jump out at us, like, I'll do ready exact to cast one, a spell. Two, three. Bless. You see her, her arm and hand glow with a bright moonlight image and flowing through the sky similar to Renan's like arc like on the sticker kind of like her arm hey. seems to arc back with like this like tailing light um roll me an attack roll on the crystal please mark Before? you said you roll because i blessed her yeah <laughs> yeah if you're if are you blessing the two so of I'm, them? Yeah, I'm doing the bless thing again for both of them cool oh okay <laughs> 21! Yeah. Thanks for bless. <laughs> Shatter this thing to pieces as you see the glowing energy absorb down into whatever was stopping an arcane energy from opening this door. The white light seems to go up onto the door and spread out through these tubes. Simultaneously, you cast bless on the other one as the red seems to open up and the two arms seem to... And again, as it opens, you feel this blast of hot air. I need all of you to give me constitution saving throw again. Ah! Uh, you do our blessed. Oh, I know, that's good. Ah, but... oh, finally. <laughs> 24. Ooh, you nice. You pass. 21. Uh, you like 21. Pass. Wow. All three of you were able to kind of shield and, and step back from this blast of air. Um, all of you can hear a whirling electric 
sound of technology, gears, or electricity pulsating in this other room. And a retreating whisper and shh, echo of whispers. We didn't hear the so you, whisper. You whisper the part you gotta but say. But I did it. Again. That's why I said. That's why I said afterwards. And a retreating echo of whispers. Yeah. Oh, we didn't hear what the whispers. What did you say though? We couldn't yeah, hear. Just, it, it, there, it wasn't. It wasn't phrases or anything. It's just. Oh, it wasn't audible. Okay. Whisper, whisper, watch that. Okay, okay. <laughs> to go into death room. And I just walks in. I'll be beside you. <laughs> Give me an uh, investigation roll. Just her. Uh, Both yeah. Both of us. Uh, well, she was the one looking for traps, right? Yeah, yeah. well, we yeah. kind of all were. So, I mean, but yeah. I will give I one person with advantage or two with normal roll. Advantage! I believe much in you. Much better. Thank you. Yeah, the advantage was much nicer. Um, <laughs> That is a 21. 21. Uh, mm -hmm. You're like, I am walking! Nope. <laughs> and you look and stop everyone two seconds before... <laughs> uh, you cross forward, and very thin is this glass tubing filled with some sort of green cloud of gas. Very, very thin, but you're about to go through and break it and kind of stop mm. it. Mazel it's... tov. <laughs> <laughs> you're crazy. <laughs> Why are we fucking hurt? <laughs> Should I take a bribe with us? Should stay with <laughs> So yeah, so it's basically like she's like about to go in and then she remembers like at last second to look around and then yeah, like the foot is like right there, just kidding. And she like points. Easily wow. able to go under. It just seemed oh, cool. a... Under? Oh, so it's like It's high up. It, it's yeah, oh, it's, it's basically said, like okay. chest level. You okay, so never mind, she doesn't put her foot on it. How low was, like, can he go? Under. Limbo. Yeah. Yep, duck underneath. Nice barely has to duck. Do, do, do. Yeah, I was gonna say, is it chest level for Zach or chest level for us? Because that's a difference. <laughs> that's true. Chest level for them. This is the Dwarvish Kingdom. Oh, oh so that's for us. Basically. Sorry, Zach. So um, Zach is the I can giant here. It. I can, can crawl. I'm, I'm young. <laughs> but yeah, Zachary has to crawl down to get past it. Um, but you guys walk into this grand, ornate, golden hall of different grand warriors that seem to be etched into the wall and a beautiful golden and silver fountain that seems to be inert. And you can hear that whirling technical sounds coming from the hallway and echoing around a room in front of you. So it's coming from the hallway in front of us? Correct. Okay. Um, does this look closer to my dream? The ornate golden is getting closer. Okay. The heat is getting closer, but aesthetically it doesn't... This is still isn't it. Okay. I want to look at the fountain. I will join you. Yeah, me too. You. And look down the hallway as I approach just to make sure nothing's like going to charge us out of the hallway. Mm -hmm. Um, You can see an inert like forge and anvil. Actually, I'm gonna be over here. Okay. Um, give me investigation checks if you're looking at this. Yeah. Guidance. Well, I'm I'm gonna look. Oh, I guess I don't get to. Anybody can. All three of you guys can look. Oh. Thirteen. For ah. perception, things like that. It's if all three are looking, it's a little different. But if it's like a skill check, that's when it's. Like, Sixteen. Eleven. One, Sixteen. Two, one. What? 21? 21. Um, yeah. A nice, you're just kind mm -hmm. of in it, just in all enthralled with the beauty and the arc, the, the art architecture and artwork of all of this. Um, speaking of grand warriors and warriors that have died with glory in this hall. Um, Zachary, as you begin to read, you can read different names of them. Um, and this fountain basically just, it says, uh, here lie the warriors who have died in glory. You get this idea that this is like a a memorial, a place to honor the grand warriors of their time. 
Makai, you huh? look around in the fountain, and at the bottom, you find 21 pieces of gold. Seems like a little wishing well people have used. Dead people don't need wishes, right? <laughs> <laughs> Something yeah. I would uh, say, 100%. If you're, if you're cool with curses... Do you get cursed? Totally. I don't believe you. Um... <laughs> Water is purifying, so I mean the water temple, yeah. Totally. Okay. <laughs> uh I'm just gonna kinda stare at it. I'm not gonna take it yet. <laughs> okay. We well, see one, two, three, four. Twenty one pieces of gold. Good to know. <laughs> I got in her head. <laughs> I'm gonna reach in and grab one <laughs> after a minute of thinking about it. Sure. I mean, <laughs> if it is a wishing well, I'm taking people's wishes. That's the other problem. Curses, I wish yeah. I could live. Oh, well, it didn't work. You can keep that in your pocket this time. I don't want nothing but... to do with the wishing well. <laughs> Anaya Science isn't Anaya Science isn't technically all this money, dead people's money. Exactly. Yeah, but it's like a I'm shrine just... to their dead. Like they're... You didn't do a very good May job. Mekai, are you them. taking the gold or not? <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm taking okay. it. I'm taking it. Regardless of what they say, I need to give you a wisdom yeah. saving throw. Oh, no. <laughs> You're blessed, though, so you, you are blessed. That. Oh, I rolled really well. Okay. Uh, 21. 21. Right. You, you grab Thank it, you for... and as you kind of push away some of the dirt and mud that's kind of covering it, just look at it, and this is the most beautiful coin you've ever seen. Oh, no. And then you just kind of shake it off. You're like, just like all the other coins. Huh. Do you have one coin? But if I feel that way, that's not normal. I'm not greedy. Mm -hmm. Or you just like, it looked real shiny for a second. Yeah, it just looked really shiny, and for a second you're like, I need all the gold, and then... Like, that was weird. I mean, whenever you get, like, a really new penny and you're like... Yeah, exactly. But, like, this is, like, <sighs> like wow. the, the prettiest gold and the most freshest gold you've ever seen before. Go, go. Uh-oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna go take another one. My precious. Uh, give me a wisdom save. <laughs> Fate. Oh, that's even higher than the last one. Yeah, okay. Uh, 22. Yeah, this is, like, even prettier. These are really well-made coins. I really want them. I don't need them all, but okay, whatever. I have two. Um, I'm gonna look and tell Zach and I, aren't these coins like extra shiny? Like, and but you do feel like that's no. faded. That, I mean, it has. But I'm just gonna. Like, yeah, you have that thought, but then it kind of fades. But. Yeah. No, they look uh, like all the others. Anais just turns and starts looking into the other room. <laughs> they're just wet. That's why they're shiny, probably. Yeah. All right, I'm just going to have those, I guess. I kind of feel drawn to take it. Just slight. I mean, it's it's easily... You could yeah. easily say no, but there's just this... Bowl of... I don't know if there's more coins, though. I'm just going to keep staring in the water, that bait. <laughs> Are you uh, okay? Anais, do you continue looking down? Yeah. You can see and hear now a lot louder the whirling coming down from this direction. Um, but you can see some sort of like blacksmith and forge in this area. Hmm. Okay. And Makai is just looking at the water and looking for other coins. And Makai, we got Hang more up. important things to do. Come on. What? Okay. You're <laughs> uh, but... shiny. <sighs> Fine. Do you pocket the two? Yeah. Okay. Alright. You, you uh, do I keep my investigation roll in this whole room? By just, Or do you want me to keep rolling every time I go into a different area? Um, for, for From here on out, we'll go each room. You can give me a new roll. Right now, you haven't gone into a room. This is just the hallway. Yeah, that's what I was wondering, though, before I move it in. You're like, whoa! No, no, yeah. Move it in and investigate. Which, Everything's blowing up. Which way are you going? Uh, I'll look in... I don't know. I actually think I would be more drawn towards this worrying. Up to you. 
So I would be kind of starting to go down this way. Okay. Are the rest of you two following her? Yeah, I'm going to yeah. push Mekai ahead of me so she doesn't keep yeah. diving back into this <laughs> thing for 20 gold. And, uh, 19, she's already gotten two. 19 gold. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, Anais, you start walking down this way. Give me investigation roll. And you can now see... Plus, ah. it's probably gone by now. Probably. I'm changing, so we're... A... 19. Similar... Disc from before. Though it seems to have a different sort of structure to it. Uh, and it's transparently glass with a green glow coming from underneath. And that's where this pulsating seems to sound seems to be coming from. You can hear whispers and echoes of almost like something beyond your ear sight or understanding. Um, but you can see ahead and you can see a pod with some sort of humanoid statue standing there. Unmoving. I got 19, by the way. 19? I'm for traps and stuff. Yeah. Okay. Um... Again, at the end of this, the end of this line, you see another one of those tubes about chest high. Okay, I pointed out, stuck under it. Easy enough. Okay. As you look in, you now can see eight of these standing, what seem like statues, and they're encased in glass. But the more you look at them, it's more of like. A really ornate maybe set of armor but it's all connected the face has blue gems no mouth golden overlay another gem seems to be innate in its chest red cape but it's all made of silver and steel and gold eight figures um i'm sorry take that back seven figures uh, this one here, uh, this one here is broken and there's nothing inside of it. Are you guys entering the room? Yeah, I would have ducked under. Okay. So you walk in. Yeah. As you all walk in, Anais, you especially, you see the this green pulsing aura in the middle. <laughs> 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 radiate out in this uh, explosion of green energy. And as you all enter in, you see all of uh, all seven of these figures, statuettes, begin to glow with this green energy and the eyes start glowing and they all begin moving. And coming uh, welcome dance for us probably and this one's gone. uh everyone dance. roll me initiative <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. you've been rolling very well for me today i'll write it in there so i don't forget all right i am actually going to roll hmm out how I want to do this. I don't think that's going to show up. Urkel's being familiar, doesn't it? No, not at all. <laughs> I, I like sitting next to you. <laughs> it's fun. Yeah. All right, I'm just going to roll. Every time now. <laughs> oh, okay. Add that one. All right. What? I'm at the back. All right. <laughs> Zachary, what'd you roll? I got a 13. 13. Nice. What'd you roll? 15. 15. Makai, what'd you roll? 21. 21. You hear the whispering grow and grow. <laughs> Welcome, Chosens. Good to uh -oh. see you again. Uh -oh. And 
you see all of them e emit with a black shadow that seems to absorb all of them, and their eyes turn red. Makai, you're up. Uh, I wish you would have said, welcome to the Thunderdome. <laughs> welcome to the Thunderdome! <laughs> Shoot. Oh, see, if we just went straight through that other door... Well, on here. Nobody else can see that. Um... <laughs> I don't know. Punch this one. I guess. Alright, you gonna punch that one? Uh, yeah. Okay, let me... Good thing I already used all my spells. Let me center all this a little them. better for... Oh, one of them. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. All right. Uh, this is your action then? Yeah. All right. Go ahead and roll me um, attack. I'll do my... We decided unarmed strike, right? Because I'm holding my thing. Uh, but I'm just going to... I will look into it. Um, Lit says punch. your weapon counts as the unarmed because it's Kensai. I will look into it more. It's, oh. Either way, it's fine. It's exactly okay. the same exact dice. It doesn't matter it mechanically <laughs> whatsoever. Yeah. For yeah, flavor, flavor, you can wise. choose however you want to do it. Okay. For now, I'll give you the plus two if you're using your weapon, a Kensai weapon, or unarmed. 19 to hit. 19? Yeah. Okay. 19 seems okay. to hit. Okay. Five points of damage. What kind of, uh, so you're slashing with your weapon, right? Yeah, my chakra. Okay. Chakram. All right, roll me damage. You said five? Five. This one seems to hit and do damages. You strike down and its sparks seem to fly across uh, the chest armor and you can see where it slashes through um, on this enemy. But it still seems mm -hmm. up. Well, I'm gonna use a key point and do it, punch it twice. All right. Or you know, whatever twice. Sure. Um. Seventeen. Seventeen. Yeah. Uh, seventeen does seem to hit. Okay. Roll me damages. You slash through and then follow up with a a, a upper upper catch to the the chin. Uh, three Trace. points of damage. Yeah. This is unarmed strike, right? Yeah. Seems to do less damage than your weapon. This, your, okay. and your fists hurt. Seems to be a very strong metal that you're trying to strike through. Good. Well, I hit it again for another 19. For four points. I'm sorry. What? The second one? I was reading, uh, yeah. I was reading something. Yeah. Oh, you're good. 14. 14. Or it, it, 19, 19, sorry. 19, 19. okay. <laughs> yeah. And that's for four points of damage. Perfect. Uh, you do another four points of damage on this thing. Um, and it's, mm -hmm. uh, again, it kind of doesn't seem to take full effect. But you can see a small dent up here. And the, the edges of your knuckles start to bleed a little bit from hitting this. Um, and in return, you hear Svitskvatskvistvate. You cannot understand what it says. Zachary, you hear, I am an ally. Do not attack me. No. All right. <laughs> Make eyes at your turn. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. All right. Anais, it is your go. You see her slashing it and you hear dwarven uh, words or some sort of unintelligible words uh, coming out from this robotic sound of uh can i shout out anything about it? they're saying they're an ally on your turn it's on my turn okay um question for you really fast yeah. um what what's this thing in the middle the green thing seems to be some, this thing yeah it seems to be some sort of like technological device similar to the ones you saw earlier but it's flushed into the ground and underneath it, the green crystals are underneath the ground, pulsating. And this seems to be whatever is powering up these pods. And they're coming from the pods? They are all coming from these pods, yes. 
and then other clarification Clarification question, just to make sure. Sure. When she was punching the green crystal uh, earlier by the door. Yes. Did that seem to be blocking the natural original design? Blocking that. The magic? It seemed to... Roll me an intel uh, intelligence or arcana. Fifteen. You get the, from what, real quick in that moment, you get the idea that these are different. This crystal reminds you more of the crystal that Kahu entered and started glowing. It has the same exact glow to it. The other one okay. seems slightly different. And it did seem to be something that was stopping that power from activating the door and letting you guys go through. Okay, so they, they don't later. look like the same thing. Right. It was almost okay. like an arcane lock. On that door. And then this looks almost like a part of the original Correct. design. Yes. Okay. Yes. Just making sure. Alright, uh, then if that's the case, I did not hear that. So I will cast Zephyr Strike on myself as a bonus action, which oh means God. that I cannot... Any movement is not an attack of opportunity. Nice. Uh, and I will um, take out my chosen weapon. Choo! Ching! Turn it into a bow and try to shoot at something. All right, so I'll bo do bonus action into a bow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, not bonus action. I don't know if it does if it. If I just take it out because I just did Zephyr Strike as a bonus action. Oh. Is taking out my weapon a bonus so, action? All right. Normally the weapon's in glaive mode. So to okay, turn that's it fine. Into I'll just use a bow, glaive. Whatever. Would, yeah, to turn it into a bow would be a bonus action. Right, that's fine. I'll just. Them, yeah. Okay, I'll just go up to this and hit it. Okay. Um, so you're using normal glaive? Yeah. The first time using the glaive? The first time I've ever used it, yeah. but no one's here. No one can tell. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead and roll me an attack. Hey, girl. That's that a girl. I knew you'd do great. Okay. Hold on. The two glaives glow a light with, like, this blue electric lightning. 22. 22. As you hit this, this thunder wave seems to just emanate from it for the first time you hit. Um, uh, go roll me damage on this one. Uh, six. Six. All right. So six points of electric damage, lightning damage. All right. Um, it seems to just carve through this metal um, like normal. Um, this time you do not hear the dwarven, but more of a that whisper and Raskastalanaya. None of you guys understand Some... what it's saying. Okay. But it, it reminiscent. It, it brings you back to. Similar to some of the infernal type talk that Sundavir would do in your dreams and stuff with all of you, that all okay. of you, okay. all of your like necks go chilled with that because it reminds you of Sundavir, but it's not that voice. Something okay. different. Okay. It's not infernal. It's not infernal, but it's okay. infernal like. It's that demonic like, but it's not infernal. Oh. Okay. I think I'll. Um, I'm not gonna go back here. Know. Okay. You did Zephyr Strike, right? Yes. Okay. Perfect. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, Zachary, it's your turn. Uh, okay, that one says it's an ally. Don't hit it. <laughs> um, in the room, how high is the ceiling? Just curious. Uh, I'd say about twenty to twenty-five feet. Okay. Uh, sure. I'm gonna try something. Sure. I'm gonna close my eyes for a second. And leap up over top of the the green little thing or whatever that's there, and have my wings expand <gasps> from my back. Boy, special boy. And fly up uh, above kind of everything, close to the ceiling, with my wings, my mm. spectral glimmering wings, and my eyes begin to glow as well. Mm -hmm. Um. There's almost like daylight that fills this room around you all. Make I knew it. <laughs> and I'm going to 
cast Sanctuary on Anias with my bonus action. Uh -huh. Perfect. How does that work for me? I mean, for right now, they can't touch you. Okay. Unless they make a wisdom saving throw. Okay. That's the... So I'll fly up kind of above this thing. Okay. And just be up high flying there, surveying everything and watching. Perfect. I like it. Um... Well... Being cool. I'm trying to be cool. <laughs> it's so, you guys are so cool using your weapons and using chosen stuff. It's fun. Oh, I never saw your wings. <laughs> All right. He's not here. <laughs> don't tell her, guys. She'll be so mad. You really don't tell her. <laughs> All Furious, don't. <laughs> Is that your turn? Uh, yeah, that's all I can do. You all feel in this moment and look and see the green crystal go and blast out another green blast. This time, though, what felt like shadow and corruption earlier, you feel Kahu's presence in this moment. Oh boy. Whatever connection he has to this green or the spirit realm or whatever, you don't feel alone. You feel like you're with someone. Do it. <laughs> In that moment, Makai, you see the alive statuette or technological robot, as you would say. Um, the shadow seems to blast out and um blue markings seem to appear and you see what glows the symbol of the water affinity on his chest and now you hear in common let us fight by your side it's just that one that says it yep this one that says it okay for now um and he goes your friend sent me. Let's do this. And he is going to turn towards this one here. And you see him reach back and a handle appears out from his shoulder. And a large glowing sword appears and he lashes out twice at this one. Golly. Both are definitely going to hit. Or... Yeah, y'all inspired 12. <laughs> Or, uh, yeah, you just see sparks and glowing metal just seem to, uh, like, blast off of this thing as it looks like it did some pretty nasty damage on this one right here. This one has shadow, and the shadow seems to be absorbing through and <clears throat> kind of shrieking back at this one. Um, so that's that turn. This turn, the shadow one's going to attack back at the one, uh, the one the blue one that attacked it. So, okay, that's right. I'm also gonna put these little blue symbols here so you can tell the difference. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. We can call them blue boys. Uh, this one's oh, a blue boy. Boys. Yes. Special blue boy. <laughs> special um, blue boy. Special wing boy. <laughs> this one seems to put out its hands and cast some sort of light, um, and it does do some bit of damage and sparking on this one. Um, it does light damage. Uh, not. It, it's you see some sort of magical energy. Okay. It seems to be force. You've seen it before. You've seen um um a Juarston shoot something similar to this. Okay. Uh, how many points do you do? Four, or five. Okay. Math. Okay. Uh, he's taking some damage uh to it, but he hold the fist. We will not let the shadow fight and beat us today. Um, however, fun accent. thank you very Speaking much. Speaking the language of my people. Yes, uh, <laughs> not going to do a uh, dwarven Scottish like normal, yes? Um, God, my mechanics. Why did I just make it so complicated? All right. They all die suddenly. This one Ever. moves in towards you. No, it doesn't. This one does not. That one does not. This one moves, just takes one step forward off of the pod raises a hand towards you and casts out a uh, blast of uh, force damage of, of white arcane energy um, that it misses as your as your wings blast through and, and you go over to the side and it cracks uh, some of the rock above you 
as it hits the rock, you can feel a a vapor of heat come down as a little bit of red on the backside of the rock above you seems to appear. Uh, uh. <laughs> let's see. This one is going to run up towards you, Anias, and this one is going to run up towards you, Meikai. But each one with shadow and red eyes coming at you. Meikai, that's an eight. Uh, Anaya said is a 24. Wisdom, wisdom save. save! Oh, wisdom save, thank you. Wisdom save. Is that for strike? That is a 13. Against my DC? Uh, yeah. That's a failure. Failure. Uh, it turns towards the other, <laughs> uh, ally that you have and, uh, tries to hit it in the back, which I'll use the same roll from earlier. Takes another two points of damage. It is looking really rough. Your ally. ally. Yes. All right. That Sorry, is, ally. <laughs> that is uh, the turns previous. One, two, three. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> ah, there's like another game. I'm trying to remember the, the, the numbers. Okay. Uh, Mekai. It is now your turn. Yeah. You have two shadow statues next to you the one that seemed to say it's gonna fight by your side uh here with the blue marker another shadow okay. one here okay um the other two seem to be inert standing in their pod okay, okay. Great. well i'm gonna attack the one that just attacked me with my weapon okay and that's a 19 plus 4 to 23. 23 hits as you come slashing down. And that's three points of damage. Three points of damage seems to hit and do full damage as you strike down uh, straight across its uh, armor here. And then a uh, bonus action of the unarmed strike. Okay. That is a dirty 20. Dirty twenty, kind of twirl around and come back in with an elbow to its uh, rib. It dents in three. a little bit for uh, reduced damage. All right. Yeah. Is that your turn? Yeah. Okay. Do you want to move at all, or are you gonna stay right there? No, because they can hit me. You can still move within their melee range without going out of the range if you want. No, because if something happens to Anias. Okay. All right, nice. It is now your turn. Okay. Um. So, question for you: If I did thunder wave, would it? And I was like in a different vicinity, and Zach was in it, but he's above. Would he get hit by it? Because it's above. a ten foot cube, right? It's a fifteen foot line right cube cube so, oh well, it's like 25 he's still feet higher than it he's fine okay he's higher than such things like i'm guessing okay. you're like up on the roof almost like 20 feet up yeah i'm like right at the ceiling yeah level but he's about right in between 20 to 25 feet up okay i'm just trying to see how i can best position myself ba -ba -ra -ba. Okay, I think drop. what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I can move without attack of opportunities at the moment. Mm -hmm. so I'm gonna go right here, okay. and then uh, thunder wave. Thunder wave in the Woo. thunder dome. Uh, uh, these two, so this one and this one. Well, that one hasn't moved, right? Constitution saving throw. Oh, wait, that one you did attack already. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they have a. So you're hitting. Yeah, so all, constitution. All five around you, right? No, it's, no, a, it's cube. a cube out. So it it starts like here. Right. So and then it goes out 15 feet. So it would hit this one. Right. So you have one. one. It's a two. No, it first. goes out. It's in front of you. A cube it happens in front of you. Doesn't emanate around you? No. No. It goes out in front it goes of you. Out. It's not the radius. Uh, yeah, we, we looked this up the whole time. Sage here. advice. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. And they it's like in front of you is how it works. Mm -hmm. Oh, weird. Okay. I always thought it was like emanating from you. I know. We thought that too, but we had to look it up and yeah. found out. So you're establishing a cube then. Going upwards on the map. Yeah. So this one. Like this? This one. 
Like that? Yes. yes. That's yes. it. Gotcha. Oh, I thought he was going to do more like that. I'll roll. It's fine. Um, all right. What are they constantly saying? What is epic? Uh, yeah, con saving so, throws. That would be a failure on the first one and a. Shoot. Uh, I think it's going to be close. 13. That one, I think, makes it. So it takes half damage. Sorry, 12. It's still oh, it doesn't make it, then it fails. Right. Uh, Full nice. damage. Okay. You kind of press down your glaive into the ground and uh, push forward out the, the cat eye connecting to the glaive with an electric bolt and just <laughs> blast a force going forward, hitting both of these. It's just five, but uh, this one is pushed... Well, both of them technically are pushed ten feet away from me. All right, I'll give it six points of damage as it hits the wall. <laughs> so how far? Ten? Ten feet. As this one comes skidding back, uh, kind of like coming to a, a three-point standing. All right. Perfect. Good turn. Is that uh, everything? Uh, Yeah. Are you transitioning into a bow or are you staying it as a glaive? Yes, I'll use my bonus action to do that. Thank you. Perfect. You see the electricity coming down as like string among the uh, the staff here as it now folds inwards and out like a bow. Uh, Zachary, from your oh, celestial right. upwards wings, angel like view, what do you do, sir? I will stare down at the one who just shot its little magic thing at me. Okay. And I am going to fire bolt that one. Firebolt. Do it. Go ahead and roll uh, ranged attack. That is going to be a 20 to hit. 20. 20 definitely hits. Roll me damage. All right. That is going to be six Woo. fire damage and three radiant damage. Okay. Oh, I see you, girl. All right. Uh, the flames come and wrap around it, and just as it seems to disapparate, it burns into the armor with a uh, radiant uh, energy and seems to start taking some of the armor with it. All right. Good turn. You doing anything else? Uh, let's see. Okay, it's got two. And it's going to go away right after I did it, though. Hmm. I will. Yeah, I think that's it. That's all I can do. Okay. So, on this turn, uh, the the ally that's glowing blue with the sky affinity, um, just says, "Don't worry, he is fighting for our behalf. We will assist you." And he again goes to thrust in his sword into the one in front of him. Both attacks. Hitting up. He is inspired as this one in front of it, in front of him, uh, he pushes through and you see a burst of energy blast out and crack and break the gem that's in this humanoid uh, figure and it goes limp and just uh, grows limp against the wall. You see the shadow just emanating and disappearing off of it. And you hear a shriek just no. All right. Um, also, on the same turn, you see two different uh, ones. This one, this one seems to brighten and glow. Unfortunately, Anais, with the same <laughs> affinity of you as the sky affinity glows bright, <laughs> blue and <laughs> white. <laughs> on this one and you hear a female voice it's okay thank you we shall get rid of the shadow I'll which make one it... is it i'm sorry the one on the top oh okay one o'clock i'll make this one green and you hear down below as you look over and start seeing different spots of like star-like energy glow and the star symbol affinity if here on this one the yes let us give you our aid. And these two are going to come in here. This one is going to come over to assist you. Actually, it'll go in flanking with you, Meikai. Advantage. All right. So, advantage. 
the female uh, this one seems to move with dexterity and has like two glowing daggers um, that extend out from their hand unfortunately well, hold on that was advantage on the first one unfortunately all four seem to miss it seems to be a little damaged from Anais's hit earlier and doesn't seem to be moving as 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 well uh, but the other one rolls a nat 20 and uh and a hit on the second one so zach the one that was attacking you seems to get hit with some pretty massive damage nice uh, it, it's it's short circuiting and you can see this gem cracked and barely able to stand this one's looking rough um all right uh back to the other side's turn the shadow ones this one's going to run back in towards you make how you can make an opportunity attack on this one as it passes you if you want yes ah um a nice it's going to try and reach out and uh reach out at you right wait no, do I still have oh, it gone? Oh, okay never mind just kidding <laughs> just kidding do i Go ahead and make out yeah me? uh zach give me a constitution saving throw real quick Okay, and then I'll roll. <laughs> Did you take damage? No, you didn't get hit, right? They missed. I've never gotten hit. Never mind. Never mind. So, yeah, you saw a blast. Oh. oh. Sorry. I think Butts is down because that was like way before. Because no, we were like, like oh. she was yeah. getting yeah, coins in the fountain. That's, that's, that's right. That's like, right. Yeah, you guys were talking for a bit. So, right. yeah. yeah, no bless. Was, it's a 12. 12? Okay. Unfortunately, you kind of slash out and miss. It kind of scratches and sparks off the back armor. Anias, uh, you now see an extension of three different shadow pronged uh, claws come out from this thing and Ooh. try and come in at you. Uh, does Me. a 14 hit? No. Me? Uh, no, a nice. New armor. Oh. <laughs> um, hmm? New armor. New armor. New armor. Uh, but uh, Makai, the one in front of you, does turn oh. to you. That is going to be a 15. I don't think it's. Uh, no. Perfect. Yeah, you are. You take your chakra and kind of like uh, you're able to catch its arm and uh, like kind of bring it down as you're kind of getting set up for the next round of attacks on it. Um, all right, you guys did very well that turn. As you now have three allies fighting on your behalf against yes. the confusing. They all seem to be red caped, moving sets of knight armor and techno something of armor and technology and crystalline mage um but they seem to be battling each other of shadow and affinity um, we did it ourselves too like kahu didn't help at all this is all yeah us. totally just you guys 100 <laughs> us yeah wow kahu didn't help uh make we're I just like super inspirational super uh -huh. inspirational make it's your turn okay um well i'm going to i keep trying to change the one on um the string yeah <laughs> uh well i'll just go and attack that one again okay perfect you have advantage because uh, your ally is flanking it sweet well that was an 18 and a 19, so 22 nice a hit yeah and it's four points of damage four points all right that does full yep. damage as you kind of have it brought down you got slash up across its arm yeah and then i'm gonna roll for my bonus action Please. another one Ooh, that's the same roll. Okay. And that's another four points of damage. Nice. This one seems to do a little less than before, but it's starting to take some good damage. I'm nothing if consistent. All right. Anything else on your turn? No. I don't want to... Well... Uh... Mm. You're in a good spot. Yeah. Well... So where I'll you move. were standing, you were given flanking to this one. Oh, yeah. I'm going to do that because otherwise then I go in this guy's attack range and I yep. don't want that. You'd be flanked yep. by them, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I don't want that. <laughs> I don't want to get beat up. Cool. All right. Anais, it's your turn. Okay. I back up to here and I take out my bow. Well, it's already taken out. <laughs> Shoot <laughs> this one. Up until zero. I'm gonna so for Zephyr Strike, you at one point you can use to get some extra damage. So hopefully if I is hit, that not per turn? Is it just once? No, it's just once. Okay. 
Um, uh, with archery, it's even 21. 21 definitely hits. Which one are you attacking? I'm sorry. Uh, this one. Okay, perfect. You see the... So I'm uh, going to roll extra damage. Lightning uh, string appear with a lightning bolt arrow. As it enters in and kind of <coughs> explodes with electric damage on it. Uh, 14. 14 points of damage. As you see this one get blasted <laughs> back. And start short circuiting as it was quite vulnerable to lightning damage, and it falls yes. backwards. And as you see the the black smoke just emanating from it. Finally, she's doing something That's super cool. <laughs> it's, it's, the cool armor. it's the armor. It's the armor. Yeah, yep. it's the not Tahu and not the armor, but it's a knife. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Anything else? Uh, no. I'm in a good spot. All right, Zachary, it's your turn. I'm going to target the same one again with another blast of my fire bolts from Dude, my staff. I like it. Uh, it's 19 on the die, so 25 to 19 hit. 19 definitely hits. And that is, well, one fire, but three radiant. This uh, same as well as it, the fire circles around it and begins to burn. You can see just the shriek and the red eyes starting to look up out at you and... Uh, you will not stop us, Chosen! As the Radiant begins to melt and break apart this thing that you're fighting. It's so hard to dance around the word. Thing. Thing. This, oh, nice, right. this metallic humanoid. I then am going to fly. Where's the lava kind of glowy section? Is it like over here? Sure. Okay, I'm going to get a little bit of distance from that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to fly over to. Like yeah, I'll be here. I'll be way. above this guy kind of 25 feet. Sure. All right. Um, and That's it. You all see these three swarm in and begin combo attacking this thing. Uh, all flanking tunes. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say this is <laughs> this is a time. That's a hit. He might survive, That's guys. A, it's, a it's true. He's totally gonna survive. That's a nat twenty. <laughs> <laughs> Another hit. Okay. All right. We're good. We're, We're at that point of like the threshold of like <laughs> you guys just start seeing the glow of affinities as. One does punches and slashes. The other one enters into the sword, into the heart. And together, all three of them, you just hear them screaming out, For our fallen allies! And the, the one just shrieks and explodes outward in just this explosion. And I happened to delete it by accident. Uh, an explosion of uh, metallic energy and uh, shadow aura. As the combat seems to come to an end. The three of we... them, though, seem to be struggling now to move, almost as if they're low on energy. Thank you. Is there any more whispers, by the way? There's a loud shriek and a disbursement. The whispers seem to have disappeared. With their loud shriek, Anais makes some obscene gesture to the sky. <laughs> You oh, definitely uh, follow the shadow with the obscene as the, the last little wisp of shadow seems to try and form some obscene gesture back, but it disapparates. You won this round. <laughs> <laughs> and in this robotic, almost g g glitchy. Thank you. <laughs> we are the war forged under the mountain. Our spirits can lie for you now. And the female one steps up. The shadow killed us all and turned our castle into the crypt that we have died in. And the larger one in our last ditch effort. We put our souls into our creations. But our brethren were corrupted with it. 
and our king went mad. Are you the Chosens that have been prophecies to come? You just see him, like, falling to one knee, like, just this energy pulsating out, and they're all holding on, trying to get this, like, last-minute affirmation from you all. Yes. Yeah, yeah. You, nice. you, can, you can rest now. Defeat, de 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 defeat darkness. Always. De de defeat, defeat, defeat darkness. And this one just powers down. And all three just seem to go inert. And almost similar to the shadow, but in white radiant light, you see a whisper of similar to what surrounds Kahu. That mirrored mosaic look as they kind of rise up out of these three warforged and begin to disapparate. You just see a thank you. We can now sleep. And everything just goes quiet. The whirls and the technology and the zapping all just grows quiet in this space. And that creepy shadow feel just seems to disapparate from this room and from this downstairs rip. One quick question. Sure. The I got water sky. What was the third one symbol? Uh stars. Okay. Mm -hmm. There seemed uh, to be a fourth one, uh, but it was already destroyed. Um is that green thing still look like it's powering everything or it is but it seems to be faltering a little bit mm. do you guys want to explore on real quick mm -hmm. yeah nice is still looking for the thing she saw in her dream so she kind of like yeah. puts a little bit of a hand on one of like the fallen like warforged things and then she like just gets up and starts moving the ones yeah, now that aren't home. covered in shadow, you can see are built and designed similar to the armor that you're wearing. Mm -hmm. I'll come fly down next to them. With okay, wings Zach. and glowing <laughs> eyes. Zach. Yeah. I knew ASMR could fly. <laughs> nice signs. That looks cool. <laughs> can everybody fly or is that just you? Seems to be just my family line. Nice signs. It's pretty. <laughs> yeah, it is. Thanks. Looks and I'll just bonus action to kind of bring my wings in and my eyes stop glowing. He's just a regular human special boy now. <laughs> no, he's still special. <laughs> Wish I could fly. <laughs> She's jealous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. I'm just going to keep, I'm going to start walking now. As you look forward. You now enter into what seems to be even greater and more ornate. Into a hallway that reminds you now aesthetically of the sort of designs that you do now remember seeing in your vision. I'm guessing Anais is coming down here. Are we all coming mm -hmm. down? Yep. It's a party. The archways here are made of gold and are dwarven written that say the glory under the mountain. Is that from something? I just read it. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, you're repeating it. I thought you were like, it's from a movie or something. No, you guys can't read this. So. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay. You look in, Is... and as you enter this room, you can see cracks of lava now flowing through this area. I need another constitution saving throw from all of you. Edge. Oh, I'm good. That's a 19 plus 2, 21. 17. 15. Facebook. Sorry. What? We're getting uh, Facebook messages down here. <laughs> that's like our, I just got the weirdest text of like, what house is 
Oh, whatever. Anyways, my mom, <laughs> I don't get my mom. I'll call her after the game. Who's whose house is pictured on your Facebook? I'm like, I don't know. I probably just shared a post and had a house in it. Like, is it someone you know? Like, anyways, I was also actually wondering this. <laughs> what house? I'm with I, your mom. Wait, what house did I post? On your story, you have some picture of a house. Focus, focus. <laughs> this is United. Sorry. I get so distracted right now. I have now. no clue what that is. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't remember posting that. I wonder if I got hacked. That's what I'm saying. Like, I didn't post anything. <laughs> weird. That's Unless... weird. <laughs> Whatever. Anyways. Uh, that's what I was Hi. like. What house are you guys talking about? All right. Anyways. Um, you look and you see a statue that is reminiscent of the imagery and the facial features of the Warforged you just were talking to. Another statue crashed down. Um, anyone got underneath a, a 12 on your constitution? Okay. Mm. Yeah. Again, you guys are all fine. Seems to be held at bay. Um, this seems to be, again, a very ornate entering hall. Um, but where you saw glory under the mountain, Zachary, you see on the other one, the king that stands below the mountain. Do you continue on tonight? Yeah. Almost as if you're walking into the vision of your dream, you turn the corner and right in front of you everything all falling into place the heat the room you see a throne room and sitting in it a skeleton wearing a red cape but a robe that looks like it's on fire flames that rise up above it You can see a blue brooch that holds it together. And a war hammer kind of just held in its hand, but like fallen out. Next to it on an anvil filled in a little bit of a pool of water, you can see a yellow crystalline orb glowing that reminisces from your dream and other statues line the room here that seems to be like a kingly throne and there's blood laid at the foot of this throne a crown held askew and you suddenly hear <gasps> breath breathing in and the skeleton turns its eyes towards you who enters my mountain. Is it is it moving at all, or is it just its head that's like moving? The, head, or... the head is moved towards you. Mm -hmm. just looking directly at you. Everything else is just held. His hand, what I was left of it, just held, you know, lifeless at its side. I will step forward. And I will kind of sign to you, Zach, this is from my dream. As you're stepping forward. Okay. We're the ones who are going to take down the darkness. Nice nods. You seek to steal my treasure from the mount. Like, did you <laughs> and Dwarvish, I'll say, treasure, no, freedom for the souls here. And again, he responds. It's almost like Dwarvish, but you can all hear in common at the same time. Who enters my room? Room. Zachary. She signs Anias, but... <laughs> Anias. 
who I'll just... enters my room. Make I? <laughs> she just like kind of <laughs> says hi. <laughs> oh, my camera. There we go. He rumbles again. Ooh. You. Ah, oh. Did you enter? Um, a nice sign to Zach. Um, <laughs> she signs like kind of under. I think we might have to fight this guy. <laughs> Not through the power of the affinities. You are the prophesized chosen. He kind of asks with a curl of his head. I still nod. Yeah. Okay. And, I guess! And, <laughs> if a skeleton could exhale, take the cursed crystal and go. Let me sleep. He signs cursed. Cursed? This you mean? wretched, and the eye just goes down to the yellow crystal that's at the anvil. This crystal has killed all of my brethren. The shadow wanted, and we died protecting it. Going to lay a curse on us. Uh oh. The curse is that I could not die until it came. That sucks. Uh, I'll just ask Are you King Melver? I am King Low the Mountain. You just kind of see almost like a a nod of recognition or of pride, if that's what could come from it. Oh, that's an affirmative? It is in the <laughs> affirmative, yes. And I s signs, what does this do? What does it do? Many mysteries beyond our knowledge but was given to us from Delon with many riches with it but in turn was our doom let the dark. me rest and it just pleads. And I will walk up and kind of look back to see if like they have any other questions. But and she, her hands, kind of like hovering over the yellow thing. Uh, Zach will just say before this, "Your name is one for history. Remember for many years. Rest, peace." I. You remembered the blood of my brethren dying here. Tell those that survived in Zikai that we are at. I'm not you. Z I K A I. Oh, so those in Zikai? Mm -hmm. Do we recognize that name at all? 
Okay. Doesn't ring a bell for anybody. Okay. Okay. You also got to remember in this moment, you kind of realize this guy's probably hundreds of years old. Speaking yeah, of geography that doesn't quite match yeah, up yeah, yours. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Like, they're probably all dead already, so don't worry about it. No, I'm just yeah, Kaz is here. Oh, I'll sorry. Not to you. Okay. So I kind of like look at the skeleton guy and I kind of give him a nod and then I reach out and I take it. <gasps> With one last breath, the head just falls and goes restless as you reach out and grab this crystal from the water and it seems almost like a ceremonial bowl of just ornate gold flecks that seem to light up this pool and it sits on top of an anvil and you grab it and all three of your crystals glow almost in recognition or being in close contact with this crystal. And it glows for a second and then fades. Do I sense any, like, corruption about it right now? Not at all. It definitely feels similar to the affinities and all of the times and the items that you've gotten from it. The connections you all feel. With it being a yellow stone, does it match what's in my staff? Give me a arcana check. I will guide myself Go one ahead. more time here. <laughs> I inspect it. I can kind of like hold it up for you. Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, the one twenty-five. You examine the two crystals, and yours glows with a bright sunlight or radiance. This seems to have veins of red and orange flowing through it that remind you more of lava and earth than yours. I think that's where we're going to end tonight's session, as you guys all successfully gain the crystal. And we'll join back up with John and see what happens with you guys after this and what uh, you all choose to do going forward. Uh, so good job. Good job, guys. A uh, very good uh, dungeon crawl through. I think this, the timing and the size of it worked perfectly for like a one episode sort of crawl. So definitely. Yeah, you guys did amazing. I'm so proud of you. I was worried about my mechanic because uh, so letting you all know, obviously. Uh, for every shadow creature that Kahu killed would allow the shadow to disperse and whatever dwarven spirit was in that warforge allow them to ally with you and fight along your sides. So yeah. cool. because Thanks. he did cool. so well, uh, he basically allied next to you with like three different ones. So yeah, yeah hey. that was super fun. Um, that was fun. Thank you everyone for sticking with us a little later than normal um it's okay there's no critical role tonight so um there you go. let's go ahead and see someone to raid real quick um let's see Any... chef is on who's on chef i see that yeah we've 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 raided him have we a done few him times. before oh yeah. uh, that's true um, let's go ahead. I don't know if I've rated them before. I'm going to raid the AFK Kitchen. They're super fun. Oh, yeah. It's a husband and wife. Um, they are, they cook different things, but they also raise money for, um, St. Jude's. So similar to what we did before. Um, the AFK. And they are aligned with, uh, Rune Keep. Oh, cool. Or, right? Hold on. I think so. I'm always getting them confused in my head now. Yeah, Rune Keep, right? No, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Not Rune Keep. King Kitchen. There we go. Oh, okay. Like, that sounds like, that's a, that doesn't sound right. That doesn't sound right. I always get the, the, the usernames mixed up. Oh, yes, King Kitchen. 
who is also doing the year-long um, St. Jude's uh, charity. So we'll oh, go wow. ahead and uh, raid over to them. So as always, thank you guys so much for joining. We'll put this VOD, and I'll also put up the VOD of Kahu's uh, one-on-one session as well here shortly up on YouTube, and the VOD is in Twitch below if you want to join. And uh, as always, um, whoa, that didn't work. AJK. No! <laughs> I'm glad I'm not the only one! <laughs> AFK. My raids always fail. Okay, that worked. Yeah, well. there you go. So, go ahead, say hello, tell them that the Bardic Barrage sent you. We'll blast their uh, chat with emotes and say hello. And give them all the love that you give me. I'm so excited. Thank you all for this journey and the uh, epicness of tonight's game. I was looking forward to it. I promise you the next game or two will not be disappointing either. So definitely come back. Check out our games. Check in where the Fates United is going. Because I promise things might get a little heated coming up soon. So with that being said, <laughs> uh, we'll go and say good night and have a wonderful week. We'll see you guys later. Love you all. Bye. Yeah.